Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the late, late stream. I hope everybody's doing just okay. Sorry, I'm late. Didn't really want to stir things up. Just trying to relax, guys. You know how it is. Just trying to be, just trying to be chill. Let me drop the link. I have a few things that I want to talk about. I don't know if Drew is watching, but that would be that would be really interesting because me and Drew had a quite a quite a conversation earlier today. Something that almost gave me, he almost Drew almost gave me a heart attack. I gotta be honest. But uh, before we get to that, I should also announce that I have rescheduled my flight to London. So now I will be flying in on uh, September 14th. So I'm going to be leaving uh, U.S. on the 13th, flying in on the uh, 14th in the morning. Uh, going to stay three days in New York, chill with uh, James, at showcase watches, maybe film uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Hello, Wings and Watches. How are you doing? What's going on? I feel like I've just been chewed up by a meat grinder, to be honest. <laughs> you think you're the only one, man. It, yeah. it, this week has been kind of, actually the past two weeks have been so meat grindy that yeah, it's no, not even. Yeah, physically, well, physically as well. Like my arm is just oh. hurting. Ah, <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, we got EPC Acquisitions, toilet, <laughs> toilet break finally over. <laughs> David H. Yes, Tim. JC, let's go. Thank you, guys. Good morning, gents from Mossy. Jimmy says, how many crackers will get eaten on tonight's show? Ooh. <laughs> Man, but by the way, I will be going out tomorrow with Rich. We're not going to drink as much. We're just going to chill. We're just going to try to stay calm and collected and have a good time. I don't know if I... I got to be honest, though. Those crackers, they were pretty good at the end of the day. Yeah, they soak everything up. Yeah. And the real cars in Chrome says, welcome to the night train. Thank you. Uh, Speedy Hernandez, it's 5 a.m. here in Hawaii. Perfect start. <sighs> It is pretty perfect. Yeah, 5 p.m. Hmm. That's very cool. And Wings and Watches, thank you for the upvote. CB, Timma, Speedy Hernandez, hope you're doing uh, just okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm okay. Just chilling, just chilling. Jimmy, but, uh, okay. but what a praise. Love Hawaii, especially Kaui and Big Island. Man, I freaking want to go to hawaii i want to go to hawaii it's probably so amazing i mean i've seen too many movies about hawaii not to want to go there it's yeah, so yeah cool. exactly <laughs> mm, verdao upvote guys make sure to hit the upvote button looking forward to an awesome night thank you mr tutor to you logan hall good evening and kurt a your bikers what's uh, up kurt hey uh Wings and watches. Have you ever came across a fake watch? Uh, unfortunately, yes. And it was Ooh. so it was so good that not only was I stunned, but mm -hmm. everybody else was. They're they're getting to be dangerously accurate, which is wild. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, but, but wait, how, was that just in the wild? How did that happen? Well, no, yeah, it was in the wild, but uh, it, it just, unfortunately, they're around so often that even people that have bought them, like yeah. I, I unfortunately was, fell victim to that myself. Yeah. And uh, not only was trying to get the money back a pain, which yeah. I, I inherently did, but you were, everybody was kind of stunned because it, it got to the point where they were so accurate again even when you open them up they look identical so that's why now it's uh, it's very important to be cognizant where you're getting things from and how you're sourcing things so it's not simply oh it's if it's a great deal if it's too good to be true 
Yes. Sometimes it is. But even if the price seems in line over time, it's like, hey, why isn't yeah. my timepiece keeping time? Yeah. Was there an issue with the movement? This Did I ding it? Well, when you go to get it repaired, you come yeah. to find out, oh, boy. So, Ooh. and unfortunately, it's common. Which Wait, which watch was it? I believe it was uh, uh, it was a, a, just a regular Omega, uh, a Seamaster. A C oh, yeah. you know, Seamaster would probably be kind of easy to fake. Yeah. Hello, Cars and Chrono. How are you doing? What's up, guys? <laughs> just hanging hey, out. Hey, man. Hey. Um, hey, by the way, I got a little night train kicking in the background, so let me know if the music's too loud. Right, right you know, it's um, late in the evening, man. Yeah, it kind of could be. Maybe it's a little bit. Uh, maybe it's a little bit low. How about now? Well, now it's perfect. Perfect. There we go. Hey, there what's up, go. guys? You set hey. the mood perfectly. Yeah, yeah, man. Cool. I, ha I had quite an interesting day. Two things happened. I don't know. Do we want to let's 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 do this? Uh, I'll let me show you guys this fake watch story, and then we'll do the unboxing. Sure. Rising Chrono, what do you think? Yeah, well, let's build up to the unboxing, man. Yeah, Come yeah, exactly. That suspense. Off, suspense. <laughs> suspense. We're going to well, do I unboxing. Think folks, I think a lot of people probably know around. what it is, though. But, uh. I don't know what it is. Who knows who it, what it is? I think a few folks. I think there's no. probably a few questions, though. <laughs> no. Yeah. Look, crank that music up. Ain't no one on here. To <laughs> Damn. Watch Carton. <laughs> it's spicy. Whew. Let me let me show you guys something. So uh, what happened was, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do unboxing, but let, let me let me show you something. So Drew called me today, and he says uh, he he has a, a desperate situation. He he wants my advice ASAP, as soon as possible. There is a deal going down, and he wants to get in on this deal. And I tell him like, what, what what's going on? And uh, he he almost put a deposit on uh on the watch on the 5711 and the royal oak and he's like oh it's uh the price is good it's like what and the price was like twenty thousand for 5711 and then another ten thousand for the royal oak i was like what the hell there's no way well, there's there's the man hello drew <laughs> Oh, you have echo there. It's unbelievable. The there's no way. Well, there's to be there's the man. You still got the echo. You still have the echo. So check this out. This is what he sends me this video. Okay, so the box looks good. I gotta be honest. The box looks good. The wrapping looks legitimate. Hey, welcome back, man. What's going on? That man? looks good. Probably box is real. Now, it's uh, the, the guy is moving a little bit too much. The minute I looked at it, I knew but it. But when I pause it, like about here. That is not polished. That's not, that's not anything. The dial is incorrect. Like, it's oh, where is it from? Where, where's this video from? Drew, where were you buying this? Yeah, there's no, I bought it off a uh, uh, seller off the internet. I'm not going to disclose any details, but... Uh, you should disclose it because it's fake. I mean, it's just... I don't want to, you know... Oh, what, what kind of website? What kind of website? So people, so it was people Craigslist. Know. It was Craigslist. Oh, crazy. <laughs> it wasn't Pride and Pinion, right? So no. Sure. <laughs> I, was, I was just scouring. I was scouring the... Uh, on Craigslist and Facebook, uh, you know, just to see if, if I could get some deals. Yeah. But, you know, but the cars, the more and more bids. I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident to get. Hey man, I mean, it's really good that you reached out before putting a deposit or, or anything watch like that. Just watch emergency. Man. You know was what it I mean? Price, I mean, was price really compelling? I mean, did you pull the trigger? Or I'm not no, sure. No, no, no. The, once okay. he gave me the price of the Patek and he said, oh, I'm like, oh, what's the reference number? 
Because I'm like, that's not a 5711 that you have for 22000 And he's like, that is 5711 slash 1A. I'm like, that's fake. I'm like, there's no way you're selling. There's no way anybody in their right mind would sell a 5711 in steel for $22,000. That's a complete. Let me tell you something. I'm a businessman. I wouldn't do that. It's 127000 Canadian. For the real thing, yeah. right? And yeah. the one distinction that you can actually see right off the bat, if you take a look at the brushing that's supposed to be on the surface of that bezel, there's no brushing there. And there's, no polishing there. <laughs> there's no polishing anywhere, right? Well, not only that, the the uh, the hands <laughs> look off. Yeah, I mean, what what give it away to me is that the the hour markers. They're way too sharp, and there's very little loom inside them. The, the, that the was crown, the, the, the crown. I'm sorry to interrupt. The, the crown is incorrect. The crown actually sticks out way too far. Well, I don't know. It might be because it's unscrewed or something. No, like that. It, it's a diff, It's a completely different crown. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely is. It's yeah. I know. I see what he. It, you know what I mean? It, it's it's really it's really unrefined. I could yeah. tell you. By the way that I look at it, the first glance, the first impression, I know when something's quality, and that it was the most bare, just like it's very also, industrial. It looks like you got the metal off a pistol, like a like it's just man. And also the color of loom doesn't really match. But then again, there's a lot of uh, aberrations that happen in the, when you take a picture of a watch. Listen, man, you ever hear that adage? You know about something too good. You know? Too good to be true, oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to just jump in. I just realized this. The actual numbers are wrong. They're too right. thin. The oh, yeah. The, the date? Oh, don't the even get me wrong. started on date. Yeah, it's the totally date. wrong. Why don't you pull up like a 5711 just to show like Oh, how yeah, yeah. yeah. Grand Tico, thank you for I mean, the I'm proof. sorry <laughs> why we're spending yeah. so much time on this, man. I, I could show you a, a Seiko next to that and ask you if that's a 5711. I mean, come on, guys. This one is uh, this is way off base. Yeah, uh -huh. but anyways, this is what happened today, and uh, this was eBay. You said eBay, yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Craigslist, Craigslist. Oh, cra oh dude, even worse. Yeah. You should like. Here's the thing. <laughs> Shit, I think. See here. This is the problem. Sorry, bro. <laughs> no, you. I mean, it's it's fact. It's fact. Yeah. There used to um, be because if you go back like maybe twenty years, right? Something like this could have been possible on craigslist but now everyone just knows about everything about watches so there's yeah. there are no deals there are people sitting on the craigslist waiting for these kind of, for you know for any yeah. kind of thing to leak through to show up uh, you're so, better off, you're better off buying a buying one off amazon you know i just saw a panda listed on amazon for four dude man yeah. listen yeah. through honestly yeah. man, like I think like all of us, we've bought a few pieces. When you're talking these price points, it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know if you're really trying to like shave corners here. I'm say not getting a panda. Out. I was just saying for reference. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, my 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 budget's twenty five. I've mentioned that. You know, that's even, where I'm sticking. Even at that price point, Drew, buddy, listen. Listen. I mean, I felt victim to that, and and I'm not proud of it. Like I I felt like a complete nutter fool because you think five years ago, you know it would be different yeah. but back then you don't have what you know now mm -hmm. so now times have gotten even more refined where the yeah. uh fakes are so incredibly accurate that it's unless you're a watchmaker to take it apart you, you will never know and until it stops taking time you know what i mean that, that that's the bummer guys it, i it, was if you're I lucky was walking money back good if not I was walking past uh, like a used vintage store today, right? And they had a, a Coke in the window. I looked at it and I, and I was like, man, how would I know if the bezel, bracelet, if any of that, that shit is real or is so it over polished? It's like, it's such a minefield that unless you're, you're either going to buy these pieces from somewhat from really, really trusted source, just pay the piper, pay Hodinki, David SW, uh, Watchbox, right? Just get it from those guys. Pay a little bit more, and you know, don't worry about the 
the price. Yeah, it's gonna be more, but man. Mossy says uh, eBay has authenticity guarantee on most watches. It gets yeah. sent to an expert before it gets sent to you. Yeah, they get and your the funds sort of remain centers, authentication centers, which is great. Actually, it, it kind of helps the buying process from eBay. But but I, I would guess that it's good for common stuff. <clears throat> like it like what about vintage? Vintage is screwed. They're not gonna know what the hell's happening. At that point, you, you're gonna be buying the buyer uh, sorry the seller right you you got to be looking at the reputation like if you go to some of these fantastic um businesses like luxury bazaar right and you see yeah. over time their uh ratings and satisfaction right they they have a reputation and time on there so yeah. you really know that okay you're getting quality stuff hmm. it, it just goes through a helpful process yes uh, for people that you know prefer to buy a particular way they could be I mean, any other buyer i'm yeah, sure so. I, I was talking to nico right like uh like a week ago and he was talking about like that the watch collecting in his opinion it's all about the vintage finding it finding the vintage the non-painted dials like the right the perfect non-vintage now i don't know Carson, girl, have you have you have, have you gone through the vintage phase, or you're already out of it? Uh, yeah, I mean, the one I'm not really into vintage. I'm the only one is that uh, the piece behind me, right? The mm. uh, Aqua Watch. Um, yeah, it just doesn't really doesn't really appeal appeal to me. Number one, uh, I think the design is from a different era. Uh, yes, some of those classic designs. Like that's why I'm not really big into some of the stuff that uh, Marco is even into, right? Uh, even the Vu Linen and. Um, yeah, some of the older oh, like stuff. the hand current of uh, hand. Yeah, hand yeah, yeah, exactly. Even Todd, right? Todd style. I mean, beautiful pieces, just not my jam. Um, yeah. And vintage again, man. It's like it's a rabbit hole. I mean, you could spend yeah. like you could spend your entire watch hobby on vintage, trying to understand, yeah. and seeing what's legit, and I don't know. It appeals to certain folks, but it's just yeah. It's, hmm. just it's a different kind of uh, it's a different kind of watch collecting, right? It's like mm -hmm. Easter egg hunting. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's where yeah. people kind of fall prey to, you know, getting their birth year watch. Some yeah. for some people it works out. For some people, it just, you know, the the um, the expense going through that process yeah. may not be always worthwhile. If that makes sense, right? I mean the mm -hmm. the amount of money you can lose by doing that. That's why Drew, don't stop stop looking through craigslist i tried i yeah, tried man. you don't think i tried scouring uh the the craigslist man the more i look at at, at vintage watches the more I, I understand like my god this thing is dangerous it's it's too dangerous no i thank you for setting me straight man that's why i came to you yeah and and cars and corona you're right like th that ebay process i mean who are they going to hire to check all of these watches like they're not yeah, hiring, it's a like, really, yeah not only that but number one you got to assume the process they're actually they have a qc in place that you know humans are really notorious yeah. at fucking that up and yeah. then you have experts and you know they i mean how much what's the volume i don't know what the volume numbers are going through there but for them to catch every single one yeah I mean, it's just and not even, yeah. well it's even hard. panerai refuses to check their watches because they can't tell the difference so it, it sounds to me like this qc process is a perfect way to what's it called to smuggle to what would we like smuggle in fake watches through some kind of system give them paperwork it's dangerous well, it's dangerous no uh, i think it for you to try to sneak it in to an ad yeah. uh, i think that's very very difficult like I mean, my guess look, my I guess mean, look that qc pro i don't know what it is but like if i was to imagine what it's going to be like what i'm not hungry i'm good yeah 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 i had a snack <laughs> what was i talking about i mean qc process QC, QC process. process right my thinking is that they have it like it's a non-watch people they have a spreadsheet in front of them and they have like a thing coming to them maybe they know a little bit about watch maybe they have previous uh uh, maybe their previous uh, watch salespeople, but then you know the more knowledge you have, the more the more they would have to pay money these people. So my my thing is just they're just gonna Google it, like they they get someone like me, right? 
And then just say, here, there's a C master. Here's a loop. Here's a loop. Look at it. Check it on the internet. If it looks legit, that's it. If it's not, then we'll take the risk. <clears throat> I mean, that's my guess. Because it's a you're, you're talking about such big quantity. Oh, yeah, think, my God. Uh, yeah. yeah. But even to Drew's point earlier, I think you hit the nail on the head. Just It's the buyer you're buying yeah. from at the end of the day. Well, so do you have some buyers? Yeah. I had doubts. I, mean. AP. I had doubts, but I was like 12,000 to 15, um, 15, 450. So I'm like, that's really, that's really off the um, Chrono 24 price. But all right. Then when he sent me the Patek, I'm like, okay, no, he's fair. <laughs> I knew. It. I'm like, you gave yourself away. It was like you were gracing the ragged edge with the AP, but the minute you brought up the Patek, you just, you just gave yourself away. Dude. He already had had you cut. He got greedy, man. He already had you. He got greedy, exactly. And he tried to suck a freaking um deposit out of me. I was. It's like, all about the deposit. That's all about the deposit. All about Get the, the deposit, deposit and run. That, that, that's what I thought about it. Exactly. I'm like, so. He. By the way, when I downloaded that video, you know, he filmed it two weeks I didn't ago. Even Forget about it. I didn't even bother. Can Can I just say something, just out of fairness, just so we're not kind of you know, yeah. kicking at eBay or anything like that. Uh, sure. I went to their website and I checked what their authentication process entails. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll read it word for word. If you like, you can bring Good. it up. Wait, just mark it. Says, okay. It says authentication without a doubt. It says a multi-point inspection, professional authentication verifies dozens uh, of inspection points, including the movement crown bezel dial case, clasp buckle, hands, end links, and serial number. The authenticate, uh, the authenticate it, they guarantee it. Once it's verified, uh, each time piece re uh, receives a unique authentic uh, authentication card, and it's distributed. Then the funds are released. So, yeah, people still can make mistakes. There's a lot of jargon, but but the, but the, yeah. the the most important thing is the the serial number. So they probably call the brand and find sure. out if the serial number could be found in their system. Right, I think that's the most important thing out of that. Well, that's I think, a lot I, think of don't do. I think the important thing is the movement. Like, if they're inspecting the movement, then they're authenticating that the movement itself is authentic, right? Ah, uh, look, uh, that's what I'm reading, man. I, you know, just I want to give everyone look the super, the super close. Like, but like, think about it. Panerai uses Edda movement, and Edda's are, are readily available. You can't. There's no way to authenticate just because it's a movement is is authentic. Doesn't really mean anything, but I mean it. Fair. Fair enough. That, fair enough. That, that's fair. Fair enough. Mr. GMT twenty dollars super chat. Hello guys. Hello, Mr. GMT. Uh, glad that you're watching. He's been uh, he's been uh, very busy lately. Okay, there is a there is deal to be had on Craigslist. Seven years ago, I bought a sub. One six six one zero on Craigslist for four thousand. It's full risky. set sale, sold, received last year, year for nine. That was possible nine years ago. And then the the key word here deals to be had. That's no longer true. Drew, forget about it. Well, don't. Yeah. Now it's you don't have twenty thousand to to burn. And humble pine ten dollars. Drew promised not to buy from Craigslist. <laughs> I at least him. watches. I promise. Thank I you. Thank you so much. This is. But Drew, do you have a? Do you have somebody that can help you source and get you the piece at a good price? Uh, Pride and Pinion or Stefano, you know. Yeah. Okay. Stefano, you know. I got. I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use you guys, man. You know. I stay within the family. You know, that's yeah, how man. I roll. Yeah. Yeah, man. Please. <laughs> yeah, because the more the more uh, the more info we have, is, like the better, right? I mean, um, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to focus on what I really, really want the most. You know, it's just it's a really hard. I I never I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Yeah. But yeah, man. Please, yeah. please don't. Yeah, no, Frank Gerard said Rolex movements can never be one to one faked by the Chinese. Oh, very nice. Uh, Night train, very nice. 
I think no, it, that's uh, that's true. They cannot be faked one to one, but they make v fairly decent clones. And if someone is uses the is if someone is just kind of doing it really fast, like if you have to authenticate a hundred watches in a day, and you're kind of in a rush, right? You can open it up, take a quick glance. Close the th the thing down and send it off as if it was real. But you know, it just all depends how much time you have to to look through that stuff. So it's true for now, but it, it's possible that maybe not for long because every every year they get better at at faking. Yeah, and and watch Cardinal stop using those funny funny Celsius numbers. Today was so hot, so hot. Yeah, it's been a hot week. It's been a very hot yeah. week. All right, all right, but uh, let's uh, let's talk about the unboxing cars. Cars. Yes. You Can you show us a sneak peek with at least what the box kind of looks like? So just uh, number one, it's not a Fiken hourglass, right? I know people <laughs> that were shitting on me because I made them super chat for hints and whatnot. It was uh, it was good super chats, man. It was uh, really good super chats because everybody was trying to guess. If anybody wants to guess what watch it is, they can they can continue super chatting. <laughs> My, lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. Yeah, yeah. I think there are a few folks who, who actually anyone that's on my private Instagram will have an idea. The question is, mm. uh, we you know, despite my comments earlier around, is it the OG or is it uh, a newer one? I think that's a key question here. Mm. Right, so, um, but yeah, so a little bit about the story. So I've been waiting. Yes, yeah. <laughs> sundial. Uh, I'm waiting for the call for that one. That's going to take a little bit of a, a while <laughs> before I get that one. <laughs> the, surprisingly, sundials are backed up, man. It's not that uh, easy to get. <laughs> it's a bit of a waiting Ooh. list. Yeah. Oh, for sundial. Yeah. Sundial. You would think uh, you would think that now that with the, all the global warming, the sundials would become really popular because sun is so readily going to be so readily available. Uh, we're going to have yeah. 24 hours of sunlight soon. <laughs> Although technically, you could probably create your own sundial as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> just put hard. a stick in the ground. Yeah, yeah. And then use your Rolex to to just mark it every hour to see where, <laughs> to see what time it is. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, by the way, I know people hate talking about water, cameras. We'll do another stream. Oh yeah. yeah talk now. Camera talk about it now. We're camera brothers. <laughs> just gotta get this out of the way. Yeah, baby. Nice. And a beverage, obviously. Enjoy tonight's unboxing. You know what? Tell me, can I get a little bit of drink to celebrate? Yeah, anybody anybody having a, a, an adult beverage as well? Oh, yeah. You're going to make me run downstairs now. You want? You want? Yeah, you want. Yeah. The the little 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 I know you got to hydrate wings, so no worries on that. What? 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 I still have the Hennessy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is garbage. Damn. It's garbage, she said. Hennessy is garbage, she said. No, it no, was... no, this is garbage. XO is okay. XO? XO is okay, but this is garbage. XO is too expensive. The XO? <laughs> yeah, yeah, take that. Wait, what blew his mind? The things that Tim says blow oh, everything. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is better. Oh. Even one shot, this is better. Okay. All right, let's get a small drink. Just put the box. Check out that uh, music box. No, no, that's not me. It was that me and Rich. That was somebody. Yeah. Uh, in the private chat. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. Um, yeah. Like to know what your thoughts are on on this box. Cheers. Music box. So. Let me pull it up. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Mm. Have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out, Wings. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Oh, it's so um, good. <clears throat> yeah, so I think folks know. Uh, well, I guess, anyway, all right, let me ask you this. So let's make it a little bit interesting, right? You don't get on yeah. boxing that often. For folks who don't know, right? And please. Please don't spoil it. Yeah, oh. please don't spoil it for the rest of the folks in the chat. Um, for folks who don't know, any guesses based on at least folks that know my collection and what it might be? 
Tim, you know? I think you. I have know. no idea. I have no idea. You, you really said there were clues. You saying there were? I have no idea. Let me see your 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 Instagram. You saying there were clues? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's Omega. Is it Omega? Wait. No, it's probably not. There's no way. It says one spot is missing. Let's see. There's two paddocks. It's got to be a, a FP join to balance it. To balance it out, maybe. I have no freaking clue. All right. All right. So yeah. Look. Go ahead. Omega Snoopy. No. He said it's. You said it was. Well, maybe. Well, I already have the Snoopy Toyota, so the yeah. 40 at least. No, not the – I think he might be not referring to Silver, the 50th. No. Yeah. Kurt A, $5 <laughs> super chat. No. It's a Richard <laughs> meal on Oyster Flex. <laughs> I bought uh, – I bought. I reached out to P. Diddy, man. He gave me a discount on uh, – yeah. Man, I heard those uh, Richard meals. They're going to go on – crazy sale coming up man yeah that was pretty interesting, actually yeah but I, okay anyway so uh yeah it's uh let me just put the camera down Let's see oh oh wait a minute just in time <gasps> oh it go. is omega oh, oh no way <laughs> what all right so uh yeah, just so folks are aware. So I am definitely, I mean, you guys know I'm an Amiga fan, right? I, I can't stand, obviously, the limited crap that they pull, but there are definitely a handful moonshine. of pieces oh my uh, that I'm a, I'm a fan of. Um, I'd say I put Alaska up there. I do actually do love the Project Alaska. Super clean dial. Um, 45th Snoopy. Uh, but anyway, so this was a piece. So I, I've been working with, uh, so I do have an 80 out in the East Coast. Um, that, uh, as, so here's a crazy story. They were actually uh, willing to put me on the list right before the 50th got announced. And uh, I declined it because, uh, yeah, I just didn't like the design. Um, but little did I know that this thing would go crazy. I actually didn't think it would skyrocket, but maybe that was a little bit of naivete Ooh. on my part. Uh, to just flip it. But, yeah, obviously I had a, a shot to get that. But, anyhow, that being said, um, uh, so I did, yeah, I was put on the list for the Speedy. It's been now probably over a year at Folly, and uh, they got one available, and, yeah, got it out to me. So the big question that I had was um, do I go OG or do I go with the, the new version? So and I'll talk to you a little bit about oh, that decision-making yeah. process as well. Um, so, yeah, not a big fan of the James Bond. So I think folks are very familiar with yeah. the packaging, right? So they do really sweet packaging on the Amigas, oh. right? Yeah, really amazing packaging. Super clean. I mean, and I, although they've got a little bit chintzy uh, with the newer ones, I think they're not putting the loops in and some some of the straps and, uh, you know, it's a fun little tool. Not that you would actually ever use them. Although I do use the loop, uh, which is pretty cool. The loop is really good. But now you got the loop system. It's yeah, it's so loop way better. better. Yeah. But, you know, I like, I'm like. i a big fan of freebies as well. So I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. Jonathan was actually kind enough to write the email for me. To Amiga, and they sent me this it's for free. If you write them in email to Amiga, they'll they'll ship it to. You. Oh wow! I wonder if they'll yeah. do that. Uh, for, I wonder if other companies do that. If you go to yeah, I don't know. I don't think I so. Yeah, this was so. This is so cool. Will they do it if you get it at Green Market? No, I didn't buy anything. I never bought anything from Amiga. Well, I'm asking. Oh, so oh. if I were to so if I were to send them an email, would that still qualify or no? Oh, I don't know. Forget it. I'll just buy it. What do you mean? I don't, I don't understand the question. Uh, Explain so it to me. If I were to want, if I wanted to get an Omega loop, yeah, I just need to send them an email. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's Ooh, get back to it. no endless time. Five euros. Congratulations, oh. cars and Chrono, and cheers hey, to my man. watch for sure. Look. Look at his logo. Look at his logo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, so it's pretty cool. You know, they give you, obviously, 
No, the coin, the paperweight. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, yeah, and then they absolutely did hook you up with the loop as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, ooh, that's a better one than mine. It's got the tachymeter. Yep. That's that's so you know how fast your your eye goes around. <laughs> <laughs> when your uh, mind yeah. is spinning, uh, when you see the watch, your mind is spinning so hard you can measure it. Now, actually, these are ten bucks in the, at Omega. So if you stop by Omega, they will sell it to you for ten dollars. Hmm. Actually, I sent one of those to Marco. Strap. Yeah, uh, oh, that. Now, what color is that? Black. They're both black. Black, both black, black. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, so here it is, folks. Oh, my heart has stopped. Nah, it is an Amiga Hourglass. No! <laughs> it is oh. the 321 Ed White. <laughs> oh, nice. Dude. Oh, close up. Give it a close up. There you go. Oh, <clears throat> those are so Ed difficult to White. come by too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, so you guys remember on one of the? I uh, like this. The other streams. Um, yeah. So there was some discussion around whether not go for the vintage, the original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's got that dot over ninety as well. Yeah, Dude. let me run the uh, chrono. Just yeah, it's got the dot. And I, I mean, there's a lot, obviously. Um, Just clean, sharp. Oh, nice. This yeah, is the, so, yeah. yeah. That's the one to rule them all. I mean, that's just the uh, Lamont, man. 105. Damn, look at that. That's hard to focus. Oh, oh shit. nice. Wow. You know, even just to see one of these in, in the AD is a treat. And beautiful clasp, the bracelet. Oh yeah. Jeez. Holy fuck. I like this. I like it. Yeah, so I, I'm sure uh, – I think there's probably quite a few, I think, uh, speedy fans here. So here's a, the here's a difference. The immediate so – I'm not going to get into all the – I mean, I, I think uh, – remember uh, – Showcase also did a pretty thorough review in terms of the uh, look and feel, and there's so many reviews yeah. online. I'm not going really to really uh, touch too much on that, but I will say, having also owned um, a number of speedies, yeah, this has got to be one of the fucking prettiest speedies I've actually <laughs> seen in person, right? Because uh, uh, I actually didn't. These were the one piece I actually didn't see in person before I pulled the trigger, uh, yeah. but. Uh, like it's just the the finish, the the three you know the three link bracelet, uh, even yep. the dial. There's just an elegance to this that's very different from uh, uh, the other speedy. So let me see. Uh, put on the wrist. Yeah, even when I went to the uh, AD over here to get a resize, they said they haven't even wow. seen one of these yet. Wow. Yeah, Omega is really clever with the with this one. They can make a perfect watch that, if they wanted to. Oh my goodness. That's like the perfect Speedmaster. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the similar uh, bracelet to the 50th anniversary as well. It's mm -hmm. really, really, really incredible. Wow. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, and it's not – I think I read a comment around. It's not sharp at all. It's actually quite uh, – <laughs> quite, uh, yeah, very – This uh, is this is not the uh, 3816. 3861, sorry. 3861. Yeah. Yeah, yeah these but, ones are uh, – yeah, um, yeah, but really pretty, and you know, obviously, <clears throat> I think folks know, you know, that I'm a big astronomy geek as well. Just the fact, yeah. uh, you know, is what this had that original three, two, one movement. Um, they replicated. I know there's some differences between this and the original uh, from the original Ed White. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. Um, yeah, and thanks, man. I really appreciate everyone. Uh, for uh, joining on the stream to, to open this up, I, mean, I was really looking forward to this one. Um, Dude, he got some super like, chats as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and th yeah, exactly. <laughs> Congrats, we're in good health. Man. Okay. Oh, thanks, man. man Appreciate it. Thank so you. Freaking awesome. And it's not like I love it because it's not like some limited edition. It's limited in the sense that they're making it hard to get. They're really trying to give it to enthusiasts. And not just you know everyone like because like um, 
a lot of their limited editions they're like for collectors and this feels like it's for like they're true true enthusiasts so it's good that you picked this one up and not like a lot of the because like you have you have some very interesting pieces but nothing you don't have that astro boy one right no no nor the ultraman or yeah uh, yeah yeah i don't i don't have that um yeah i just wasn't a fan of the cartoon show so that's not the that one didn't really appeal to me yeah. um but uh, yeah, just uh, so there are a few things that I just want to touch on. So, you know, common question, you know, even when I was reading through all the reviews was mm. like, why would you pay so much for uh, a piece like this? And, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's, it's an interesting question because you can make that argument for any mechanical watch, right? It's whatever in your mind the value is so long as you're not necessarily thinking of flipping because the argument can definitely be made by the fact that there aren't too many of these, but as they put maybe the three, two, one and more, pieces and obviously the yeah. value is going to plummet but uh, that's not the way i'm looking at you know purchasing i'm not looking at this hey am i going to flip it is it going to appreciate value i mean this is just something that you know just the heritage uh um alone was was worth was made it worth to me um the other thing as well is there's been some commentary around the loom i mean they thought it was a little bit the fall patina right yes I mean, shit. I mean, again, this is where I go back to the peanut gallery, right? Which, by definition, they just want to focus on like this one little niggle that they don't like. <laughs> oh, the claw patina! Oh my god, they went just completely sideways on this, and it's like it's so subtle. I mean, unless you're such a freaking tool about these things, like, I mean, is that really going to deter you? I, uh, one, but here's the thing: one has to ask, how was the patina on the original one? Because if it, if they were using tritium. Shouldn't it have been a little bit yellowish to begin with? So yeah, I don't know. I've, I've never seen the original. No one, no one knows what the original uh, loom looked like unless you can time travel, unless you had pictures, and even pictures you can't really trust colors and pictures. Let me get these two super chats. Speedy Hernandez, ten dollars worth the ten dollars super chat just for the unboxing. Congratulations, Cars and Colonel. Thank you, Speedy Hernandez. You, you and Toyota Mo. Old. Wants to know if a Speedy a must in the collection. I actually I created a uh, a poll, guys. Make sure that you answer the poll question, and if you're liking the stream, please thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Yeah. So I actually ended up watching uh, Paul thirteen uh, when I got it. Just to kind of <laughs> put on the watch and uh, enjoy the movie. I don't know if anybody, if everybody's seen it. I assume. Most folks on the channel have seen Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks. Great movie uh, with Kevin Bacon as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let me also get a loom shot for the guys. So nice nice movie to celebrate. A little little oh, loom. actually, you know what? Oh, so Wait, holy. Yeah. Whoa. That doesn't yeah, it's look not on my screen. All, huh? You know what? Yeah. Let, me, I'll, let me dim the lights. Yeah. It's not like yellowish or anything. It no, it's a brilliant loom. Yeah. Uh, you're wrong. It says Tim's waiting for Sailor Moon Speedmaster. Maybe uh, your little pony. Your little pony. I feel like uh, quicker right now in the uh, talk. <laughs> quicker, yes. Uh, you know why it is? It's just so. It, it, the screen yeah. is so bright. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happens? It's just the camera adjusts the exposure. Yeah. And right. then it it, it takes off the green. But when you bring it up, we can see it for like a second. And then it, it fades because yeah. the camera adjusts. Yeah. We can see it. It's nice. Yeah. We get the lights Beautiful back. Beautiful loom. And yes, I do mean uh, he means Astra as in space inspired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's one. There's one like that. It's a tool watch, but you can't buy a tool. Only watch can. Interesting. Yeah, hey, David, the, Eddie. You know, you because you guys know I don't baby my watches. I actually yeah. am. I've been babying this a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's so sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> I've been a little bit more gentle with this one, man. <laughs> Some it's of like the a little we'll see how long that lasts, though. Yeah. Horology Caesar. Wow, look at this. S15 SGD. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome piece. Congrats, man. Cars and Chrono has recently sent me a down a rabbit hole 
of pocket watches and such. Quick advice, please, where to start on an hourglass journey? <laughs> Maybe a couple of K budget cheers. Look, perfect perfect way to start it to start an hourglass is to find one. It's uh yeah, the no way. Uh, no, it's definitely not a couple of. I, I'm not talking thousands for that one. So uh, yeah, yeah, no, no way. <laughs> um, yeah, CB 2.0. That's not Gundam. That's actually uh, Optimus. Optimus Prime. Got an Optimus over here. Yeah. Hold on. It was Prime. Oh, you know, when I was in Ukraine, I used to go to a friend's house to watch that cartoon because we didn't have the reception. That channel didn't didn't work in Ukraine. You had to live on the hill where they had good reception, and I was living like in a hole. So the good channels didn't work. It sucked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of fun memories. I think one of the first toys that I remember having, it was some kind of a transformer. And then I lost it somewhere. It was a disaster. How do you find the thickness, uh, cars? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's comparable to the other. I mean, if you've got the 3861, it's comparable to the. It's even, yeah, it's very similar also to thickness for the Snoopy, the 45th Snoopy, as well as the Alaska and the. The profile, they're all pretty similar. I, I will say though, the uh, the bracelet just feels super a lot lighter than I would have expected. It's a super now, have, I mean, that's common with the speedies though. Have you had a chance to handle the uh, the three eight six one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. And how how do you find both bracelets? Uh, you know, the thing is, I don't use a bracelet. I actually use the uh, what was it the sailor cost straps. Uh, for those that it comes with versus the steel. Uh, I actually prefer that. I mean, for this speedy, I'll definitely keep the stainless steel on it. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this feels, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't want to say flimsy, but there's something, it doesn't have the heft that I was expecting based on some of the photos that I've seen, right? Yeah. Uh, but it, it is very comparable to the other speedies. Uh, I got to switch out the, the uh, music again. <laughs> what's the what's the water resistance on that? Uh, I don't think it's very deep. <laughs> Hello, quicker draw. Hey, thanks, man. And Appreciate Ari, it. welcome to the show. I didn't realize you were streaming tonight, Tim. Uh, it was a little bit, uh, yeah, it was a little bit back and forth. I, I ran uh, into some trouble. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey. cars. Hey, hey. congrats, uh, man. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey, guys. Here's water hey, Ari. Hey there. Good to see hey, you. Here's celebrating yeah, Ed you. White. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, it's Thank five bars, uh, water depth. 50 meters. Five bar? Yeah. 50 meters. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be jumping in any pool with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. For sure not. Hey, yeah, and you know, the whole question around Hesalite versus Sapphire as well. I mean, I know the Hesalite's OG, but you know, it's pretty cool just seeing those yeah. movements. Yeah. You know? let's, uh, let's take... Yeah. Can we zoom him in? Uh, yes, one second. Yeah. So oh, that's, oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God! It's the recreation of the three, two, one. Yeah, Very that's nice. really nice. Yeah, oh, amazing. Actually, you can see all the gears. I mean, yeah, it's not yeah. that great. There you go. There it is. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, you see all the little gears going in. Yeah, that's really nice. Incredible. And this was before they put the word professional right in the yes uh, in the dial as well. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's pretty. I mean, I've been around quite a few speedies. I think all of us has. It's definitely uh, feels a little bit different. Yeah, I, I, that's so much more elegant. But yeah, there's definitely aesthetic to this, which is uh, different than yeah. the other speedies that I've had. I, I definitely yeah. want to try one on at some point. I mean, I've tried on the other ones and they're fine. They don't do it for me. And to be honest, but uh, definitely, I would love to try on that in particular. Yeah. Here I have an image of it. Kind of closed up. You can see, it, like it's just so mm. simple, clean. Yes. There's nothing, nothing, nothing extra, weird. Nothing, yeah, nothing to make you dislike it. It's just absolutely, purely perfect. And then you look at the backside, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, what? There's no, there's no extra writing, limited edition. They're not even saying like "Man on the Moon," 
etc etc just none of the marketing deal. bullshit it's just yeah it's just the the three two one that's it it's just the watch yeah and that's it they're selling a watch as 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 it's a watch and that's it look at that just clean it's really yeah. nice really nice you know and the new one right it's got that pie pan inside yes and so uh, and then like it's beautiful right i like it but i can imagine there would be some people who who might not like the pipe pan look right yeah and it's not for everyone simple yeah not not for everyone yeah and here they're just being super just for this is a watch for everyone there's no nobody nobody can like like be blown like blown away just love it but nobody can can hate this watch it's just this you can't tell me no, 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 there. there'll definitely be haters, Tim. Trust me. This no, point. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. Well, well, an absolute Omega fan will see this watch and know exactly what this watch is. And yeah. like me, hopefully they're sitting down and uh, things will go great because this watch is r really something to see. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, for, do you, have you guys, do any of you or anyone in the community have the uh, Hesselite? I'm just curious yeah. about the experience. So yeah, how is it scratches and uh... so it, it will scratch, but you really gotta gotta hit it hard. Yeah, um, my mine just has some uh, some love scratches. It's it is 14 years old. Um, the bezel uh, is on this one sacrificial, so if you do ding it, you you can replace it. But uh, the wearability is fantastic. I, I love the thickness. Yeah. Um, cause I had the coaxial, the 30, uh, sorry, the 9,300, um, Speedmaster, And because it was a double sandwich sapphire, it was super thick and it was, it was really bothering me, but this is perfect. Yeah. It, like you were saying with the Hesalite, you can polish it off though. It's really yeah. easy to polish off. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, you feel like for, you know, when you're paying so much for a watch, mm -hmm. you know, why would I want I would want sapphire just out of principle almost even though you're right probably the hesolite is it's is easier to very, maintain yeah. in, in the end it's more durable it's easier to maintain yeah yeah, yeah. rich l says uh, i tried the new amiga and uh great feel with the new bracelet it's very comfortable i will give it that yeah i will give it that it was very it was a very comfortable watch yeah and uh, Marco says he's making a prediction, guys. A prediction that uh, Omega will use three to one in more watches, in my, in my opinion. I would be shocked if they didn't. And it makes it's sense. Awesome. I, mean, I, think, I mean, the question that was around, and this is where I think I go back to my statement earlier around the quality of the finish, because uh, I know to some degree they're hand, they're making these by hand, right? I mean, yeah. That might be some marketing mumbo jumbo as well, but they are definitely constrained right. by the volume. But you know, Amiga, once they got a, a, a cash cow, right? They're gonna yes. milk crap out of it. Oh, yeah. they're 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 gonna find a way to. Yeah. They'll, they'll make a little a little bit by hand, and the rest will be all like yeah. assembly yeah, line. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. the editions, the special edition, this limited yeah. edition, that. Yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> you just fish hook them in, get them yes. get them hooked, and then. And then the, the beauty of the, of this strategy is that if the next edition is not as good, there will be people who will buy it because they can't get the original one, and they'll defend it by saying, "Oh, you're just hating. This is actually better. And they 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 improved this, they improved that, and it's gonna." There's a lot of fanboys. I gotta be honest. Like like yeah, you have to tell the truth when yeah, there's good, the when there's bad, right? <laughs> yes. You can't be fanboy. Yeah, you think well, gonna get one? Has this been brought up yet, Tim? Are you getting one? You getting a speedy soon? Uh, well, I said that I, I, you know, a lot of people tell me I don't need a speedy. You don't need a speedy. Okay. You have a Daytona, but right. I don't want a speedy as an alternative. I don't think a Daytona no, no. is an alternative to speedy. No, I think a, a speedy is in category of its own. It's a manual wind strap yes. king. It's right. it's a different experience. It's a completely yes. different experience. It's I would agree with that. Yeah. So maybe one day then. Yeah. Like okay. like this thing, right? So for example, this yeah. here. Yes. This, in my opinion, is a replacement to the Daytona. But like a, a three eight six one, or even worse, the, the one eight three six one. Those are not. 
Because this, okay. I wouldn't take this off the brace. This is a this is a package in its own. It's a, right. it's a it's a total it's it's a total competitor head to head uh, with the Daytona in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, this one's almost the same size too as the Daytona. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Elegant, beautiful. I wouldn't. There's no chance, right? Uh, cars and car. Would you take this off that off that bracelet and put it on the no. strap for some reason? <clears throat> no, no, we're not. Not for this one. I mean, this was it made. Doesn't for... warrant it. Yeah. Exactly. I, mean, I will say though, I think the the vast majority of my speedies though are on uh, they're on strap, not uh, not the bracelet. The only one I kind of bracelet was the Alaska. Actually, I, I do like wow. that cloth bracelet. Um, not the Alaska cloth bracelet, but you know the sail. Mm -hmm. cloth. It's got this really good heft to it and gives it a very sporty look. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But uh, yeah, this one definitely, for me at least, is the uh, bracelet. Mm. Yeah. We got the uh, IG Basils Bezels. Interesting Instagram in Instagram account. New mm -hmm. England watch collectors. Imagine if we all fall in love with the Cars and Corona watch. And then he says, it's fake! Just a <laughs> shtick to the theme of the video. Nice. <laughs> No. Yeah. Water See, right. I don't think it's possible to fake this thing. Uh, in, in the same way, I I don't know if it's even possible to fake the one eight six one. Yeah, one eight sorry, sorry, sorry. one eight six one. Yeah, I don't think it's even possible to fake it. No, because when you, you open you, it up, yeah, it's, it's distinctive. It's a Lavanya. One, so. And if they're gonna fake it, they'll use some other movement, and things are gonna be out of alignment, right? They're not gonna yeah. be. A, if you know what a speedmaster looks like, right? Uh, if you know where the eyes are, if you see a fake, somebody tries to give you a fake, you'll probably see like, wait a minute, it's not in the right place. So I think you have nothing to worry about. But but again, like again, I, I haven't seen a fake in five plus years, so. Mm. We don't know how good they've become. So again, yeah. you have to be diligent of where you're going to be getting your watches, regardless. Yeah, Frank Gerard Omega was churning these movements out for two hundred and twenty dollars a while back in nineteen sixty. What is that adjusted for inflation? Marketing bull thinking this can't be uh, sped up to exact. No, no, I, that's what we're saying. They're probably they don't they don't want to they don't want to make you you wouldn't want to make too many of these. If you're trying to, because that, that's not what people want nowadays. People want what they can't have. They want they want some exclusivity. If a watch doesn't have exclusivity, then people are less likely to to desire it. I think you have to be you have to have really strong willpower not to want something that ev that that everybody wants and can't have. Mm -hmm. The Watch Guy Inc. over promoted and hyped. I got two speedies. The older and the new and the three new. to one. Mm. I think it's very ordinary watch and nothing compared to many options out there. My two watches are leaving my collection. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. Hot take. Hot, <laughs> hot, hot. I mean, it's definitely like there. I mean, this it, just it's a take on uh, collecting. You know what I mean? Like what what do you want this is like an absolutely i would think like a, a purest form of a speedy mm. it, it's not unique it, it's it, it's back to basic it's it's like submariner has been for its entire life right they never changed anything about submariner to to make it look funky mm. or fun mm. there's well, no except the green one right mm. right well, that's the only the variant and just to also point something out with this particular model, like that dot over 90 signifies the original um, Speedmaster, yeah. right? The one that's period correct. So if you were to try to find that watch by itself, it would probably be close to 30,000 Canadian if you can find that watch, right? Yes. So you're right. You're right. This, yeah. is, this is such a, such a, it, for me, I love this. So this is like a must for for a collection. For collection, yeah. Culture. But but you're looking at yeah. it from a purist perspective, right? You're not looking for something like a one-off well, piece. That could be, that could be said for any watch out there, whether it be Rolex, IWC, AP, whatever it may be, right? If you find the value in a watch, and it just happens to have history and uh, things tied to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, agreed. I agree. I mean, that's why I get watch guys. I think it's commentary, right? And I mean, that's fine. 
but I could put the speedy next to any one pieces of my collection. I mean, it's not really so much that. Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, we know the, your collection. <laughs> We yeah, I mean, like, it's like, yeah. all right, the Chrono Man, I mean, shit, I'll put it up to many other pieces that, yeah, but it, I mean, the whole concert around shame, it's not so much about Paul. I mean, for me, it's the story. Uh -huh. I mean, it's the story it's that story. why, you know, I mean, Chrono Man, I don't know what the heritage, I don't know if that's familiar, but I yeah, think it's the story I think behind Chris it. Warren and Die Hard knows about it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, for me, it's romanticism tied to astronomy, right? I just yeah. love yeah. everything about. Yeah, the space and everything, the space race. I mean, if people really know what it's, went on, it's the history. Like all of that it's the history. Yeah. In the three to one, and the three to one looks looks pretty. I mean, I, everybody has their own opinion. They're all that tied together, right? I mean, God knows if I. <laughs> I mean, I, me personally, I'm not a big fan of Breitling and the Cornavet, but that, but that's what's great about this, uh, um, this collection. And you know, for me, I think it looks a lot better than. Do you have any Breitlings that. in your collection, cars? Well, yeah, just a Navitimer, but even that yes. one, um, which is which is great. I love the, I mean, that dial that just draws you in. But I'm not a big yeah. Guy yeah, it's the fishbowl, the the giant fishbowl of a Navitimer. Yeah. Like you look through it, you feel like you're looking into almost a different dimension or something. Yeah, it's so big. Probably shouldn't say that word with so much emphasis. Forty-six. Frank yeah, Gerard uh, found out listening. that so basically that movement, the three-to-one movement in today's money, costs two thousand and five hundred dollars to make. That's not cheap. But what, mean, what Omega did is they had to get the original blueprints, and yeah. they, I believe, used uh, modern technology to recreate it to spec as it was back then but yep. made out of more modern more robust uh, materials right so again like we're, we're it's subjective but these two watches are are in two different leagues of its own right one competes with a daytona arguably right the right. other one with the modern gorgeous. daytona exactly the other one's yeah. gorgeous right but the, the price points yeah. aside the level of uh and i guess the, to is, me and I'm kind of reframing the discussion a bit because sure. it's false. It's a false argument, mm. right? To compare this against a Breitling or a Daytona, because yeah. each one of them have their own heritage and, and legacy. And I think sometimes yeah. us as a community, mm -hmm. right? I you kind of I guess I mean there's something to be said about it, you know having a little bit of spice and you know you mm. oh this one's better than this for this reason. But at the end of the day, I would never like I don't think. Uh, you know, everyone has their opinions, but I would never fault somebody for their decision making, their process, how they arrive at a certain piece, right? They have their own value sense. They have their own things that are important to them. But to say, hey, this is compared to this because of this X, Y, and Z, it, it's a false argument in my mind. And I think that's where people get so caught up and that's when it gets very toxic, right? Sure. This versus Daytona. I mean, they're two, I mean, yeah, they're kind of comparable in some ways but they're just very different ways of looking at a at a piece so well, you know you know what's interesting so this actually this watch it came out at a really really interesting time and i remember i remember i was listening to some commentary and shot in the dark here says that the rancher has the original speedmaster and what was interesting is that at that time there was a discussion about like and i remember checking how much so when when Omega launched this watch, right? Mm -hmm. They priced it at exactly the price of the vintage Speedmaster. How how it was selling on the on the secondary market. It was uh like it, it was uh, and also they priced it higher than uh just a little bit higher than uh uh Daytona, right? So we might not want to compare them in terms of two watches, but I mean this this is the this that's this like the duel that these two watches had for so many years, right? Mm -hmm. The Speedmaster, you know, they, there was the Daytona, the Cosmograph versus the Speedmaster, which one will go to the moon? And Omega beat them to the moon, but then the Daytona won the like the hype train. And now this watch, they're kind of clawing it back because you look at the secondary, like if we to judge about the secondary market and the fact that this watch has been priced on the secondary market uh, of the original one shows that Omega is trying to compete. They're trying to make this watch 
to be as hot on the secondary market as uh, as Daytona because that's what yes. it, that's what is every in everybody's mind. I mean, we mm -hmm. we don't want to say it, but everybody is like, what? How, what is it going double? Is it going triple now? What yeah. is happening in the secondary it's, market? It's it's I mean, a weird. But that even yeah. that discussion is kind of weird yeah. because I don't think Amiga will ever get there like Rolex. I mean, if you look at the collection of Rolexes versus the handful of references that Amiga has, that really is spiked, right? There's just a handful yeah. of references, right? The Snoopies, maybe the three, two, one, mm -hmm. but Rolex across the board. I mean, they're just, uh, yeah. I mean, they're all <laughs> at a premium. So I don't, I don't know if that maybe that is Amiga's intent, but. Uh, again, I, I mean, it's, it all comes down to kind of your decision making process that gets through goes through your head as you approach a piece. And I, I would say it's very rare in my mind that it comes down to, oh, is this a my guy? Is this a popular piece? Let me get this because yeah. it's yeah. popular, right? Yeah. I don't think that ever is it. But what I what definitely goes through my mind is, shit, am I going to be happy owning this? Yeah. Yeah. X yeah. period on the future. And I'll give you an example. Right. I, and I, I, hands down, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I have an unboxing coming on okay. that I know for that price point and what it is. There's going to be a lot of folks in the comments channel. I guarantee you saying, <coughs> number one, how how much did you pay for that? Number two, you know yeah. what else you can get for that piece? And that's exactly the point. You're getting it's, something because it's something yeah. you're passionate about, right? Yeah. Right, right. Yes, exactly. Not, and I, and I, you know, I yeah. see the comments. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I think. It, I, it doesn't matter. It's what you want, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. So, but no, I think I think just to Tim's point, though, the price point, if you look at it, it looks like it's trying to compete because Daytona's retail for roughly the same. Well, here's the other thing, just to kind of support support. I mean, Omega and the value of that watch. Uh, there, there's a lot of like, I mean, 18 karat gold craftsmanship that goes into the uh into the movement like it's got a gay hairspring so i mean it's not just um a price gouge at rolex i think i think the quality uh of of the materials used uh is is a positive uh, thing that you can use in its defense right um the watch guy ink all i'm saying is speedy is overhyped for what it is and i should say the daytona is way overhyped for what it is and unfortunately i mean we're living in this hype yeah. age where it's the hype i, I think cars matter cars did a good shadows sorry how beautiful this watch is right uh, because cars did a good defense of the, of the omega i'll be yeah. honest cars did a pretty good defense just now of sort of why the Omega is respected the way it is in terms of like what it means to him. I think that's a, yeah. you know, th that's a good point. Good point to make there. Can I make yeah, one more that, point? Yeah. Sure. Cause that's, you know, sorry. The only thing, yeah. I mean, I just go on that. It's because I think the fact that I'm such an astronomy geek, there's mm -hmm. yeah. a lens. I look at this yeah. mm -hmm. versus if somebody look at the mega. I want the three, two, one, or, you know, it's and for whatever reason I have, but to me, like the, there is a lot of story that goes into um yeah what this represents as well right yeah. oh it's it's no doubt it's a beautiful beautiful piece it's a modern iter this is what so if for example if omega was rolex right then through their evolution over time this is what we would have had right mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been the 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 3861 or it wouldn't have been we wouldn't have got to 18361 because it's it almost like if you look at the uh the way rolex improved the the let's say a daytona or uh submarine right it's a kind it's a you can it's a graph and it always goes up like there the imp, there's always improvements they're incremental but there's always steady improvement whereas with omega it's like they had the 3 to 1 then they kind of sank it by cheapening the movement, then they kind of went to the side yeah. with all kinds of experiments, and then they, they're like all over the place, and now they're where, where they should have been. And I almost feel like Omega, what they did, they looked at like, okay, 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 concentrate. Okay, this is where we were in the 60s, right? If we were Rolex, what what our watch should have looked like today, if we ran Omega the way Rolex runs Rolex. Ultraman. And that's that's Ultraman the perfect watch. Yeah, 
<laughs> Ultraman would have never existed. That that watch, yeah, that watch kidding. should have never been made. <clears throat> in my opinion, no offense to Alex if he's watching. No, he had no. it, but then he sold yeah, it. Yeah, he sold it. He sold it. He, he got rid of it. He's not gonna be done. Humble Pine at Cars and Crown. Congratulations! I would love to pick this up, man. Anyone, mm. man. People will cut their arms off to to have this wine. Really? I, like... I have something humble pie if you want one. I don't know what price uh, he'll be charging at. I think he'll so... appreciate the hype because he's gonna be able to charge it for a profit, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. So he should like the hype. Uh, I mean, no, I think I think he doesn't. He's not a wait. Oh, I think he he thinks it's overhyped. He thinks it's overhyped. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really like the vintage Omega logo and on the dial as that well. That's pretty sweet. Yep. Yeah. Speedy doesn't look great in colors. Compare Speedy Green Dial to Kermit or Hulk. Mm. No comparison. Um, well, so the Speedy doesn't look good. At, so the silver one, I know it's, if you're being technical, that's not quite a rising color sun. in the way he's talking. Yeah, the Rising Sun is beautiful. Oh, that one is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I, I agree. The other colors I'll agree with what Biff is saying, but the, the Rising Sun in particular is an exception. Yeah, that one's got the moon dust uh, dial. Yeah, it's beautiful. I yeah. agree with you. I agree with you, Wings. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's I mean, also, if, if you like that one, there's the 35th anniversary Apollo mission, which is a panda. It's really nice as well. Oh, okay. Right, let me just Google something. The best uh, limited edition speedies. Best limited edition speedmasters. If there are no good colors of Speedmasters images. So, do hello, they? Good morning, everyone. Really? Hello, good morning, Jonathan. Patrick. How are you doing? Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. Nice to I'm see you, buddy. Good. Just woke up. Um, missed all the fun, obviously. <laughs> fun just began. Congratulations, cousin Chrono. Hey, thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it. You know, I, d I really don't uh, don't get the dis discussion uh, too much when when somebody buys a, an item for himself. Um, if you're happy, um, uh, I'm happy, and um, in enjoy the watch. And, Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, besides that, um, I I'm not a big Omega fanboy. I'm, I never had a Speedy, um, but I can see many things right with the three to one. And Omega being Omega and not being a manufacturer of limited editions on and on. That is my take on the, on the watch. Thank you for that level-headed explanation. Oh, there is. Davi85, Tam, that's almost every brand. Not everything is Rolex. Why can't it just stand on its own as a grand watch from a great... For, as a great watch from a great watch brand. Uh, I think I'm just trying to analyze it too hard. And I think like these brands, it, it's just they're not making these watches in vacuum. I think they're looking at each other and they're trying to, it's a cutthroat business, the watchmaking. And they're all trying to compete to be the first ones to make something, right? And then they make a big deal out of it, right? When you're the first one, when you're the first on the moon, you make a big deal out of it so and you celebrate it and you're proud of what, what your your achievement because of all your hard work and this is what this watch represents it represents the hard work that omega has put in yes to get this watch on the moon let's not forget that and they were like they're not they don't stand on their own because if rolex wasn't there trying to outcompete them with the daytona omega wouldn't be working twice as hard to make this thing right that's why that's why i'm comparing it because uh without that competition this watch would not be the same right yeah and i will admit by the way they do a great job marketing this shit out of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's not i mean we haven't been to the moon for so long and just technically this is the first one in space right on gemini mm -hmm. yes right with third and white well, but, uh, well uh, to be fair i think jeff Jeff Bezos, when he went up, was wearing the caliber three two one yeah. uh, on the NASA strap. So mm. again, it's, it was uh, one more kind of, hey, we're here. Don't forget. Mm. I got you. Don't forget. 
hint, thought, hint. I thought wink, it was wink, wink. It is. Too bad but... for long jeans and Hamilton, right? And the Rolex. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> Rolex went to the moon? I think yes. nobody would have given a shit about Daytona maybe at that point. All they would be thinking about is the Daytona moon watch. Yeah. But Smith's made it to Everest right. first. Smith's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, yeah, you're going to just crack open that debate. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm not declining. Well, climbing. Climbing. Has, has climbing and Chronos. Chronos. I think, uh, Cars and Toronto, I think you're exactly right. Like, Omega is good at marketing the, the man on the moon. And you bet, you bet Rolex would market <laughs> the hell out of it well, if it was they were doing it for all their watches right think about yeah. with the swimmer remember in the channel or i remember back in yes. the day marketing when they were like the first pioneers marketing their pieces right yeah. i forget what that lady was oh yeah um, yeah that the, that swam the english channel oh mercedes mercedes, mercedes lights yeah. Yeah. glites glites yeah, of Lights. course. So this would have been a Rolex yeah. Daytona on the moon, man. The Dom. Mm -hmm. James, what about that. James Cameron going down to the deepest depth, right? They're doing it right now as we James speak. James Cameron. <laughs> they strapped the watch to, to his submarine to take it to the deepest, uh, like, you know, the trench, right? Yes. They're doing it right now yeah. as as we're saying it, and they're marketing us, to, marketing it to us. <clears throat> so um, you know what? Can I, sorry, can I just make one comment on the moon watch as well? Just yes, yes. Because, yeah. uh, you know, when I was doing some research as well into the this reference, mm -hmm. there were, like, comparing it to the 3861, and there are a lot of discussion around how the 3861 caliber may be the Mars watch. They're going to use that because it is still going to be oh, right. NASA oh. qualified. And yeah. as they start embarking on these missions, mm -hmm. yes. there's going to be a whole completely marketing initiative around right. – you know, Mars potentially getting into Mars, Mars. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're still handing out the X thirty threes, though. Yeah. I know they're they're using those. They're the digital ones. Have you guys seen those? Do you know what they look like? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Right. You know what I don't understand? Let me show you something. So there is. Let me show you something. I think it's on Monaco. I think they're titanium. No, 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 no. Well. There is some mission yeah. in to space There's mi coming yeah, up. Mission of Mars, mission, mission of Mars edition. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Oh no, no, I know what you're talking about. There is a like some kind of oh. micro brand who's making a mission yes, to Mars. There's also this. this thing. Yeah, I saw this the other day. So this is they're going to be going into space. Uh, I guess I mean it's it, it's kind of a for, it's for charity. Yeah. But what I understand, like, is this watch even going to work in space? I mean, it's automatic. Hmm. It's not hand wound. Well, you Wouldn't can still hand wound have an problem? automatic. It, it's not gonna. Yeah, don't count on I guess, automatic. Yeah. I mean, you can. Okay, hand okay, wind fair it enough, still. fair enough. And how how much are the uh, uh, how long are those people in space? Uh, the, those um, We're gonna be for a couple of days uh, missions. Is, is it a couple of days? Okay. Yeah, a couple of days. But yeah, there is also the the Mars thing. Mars. Not sure, which one that is, but. I don't know if I can find it. But Chaikin is making one. Everybody's trying to make one right now. Cause they 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 find they found out how how lucrative the marketing was. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. How lucrative it was for Omega to have the front. But I I I think like yeah. what's wrong with the like this watch? It has some kind of complication. It don't even make any sense. Like it just looks like. Wow. Yeah. Was it the huh. one that shows the Mars time or something? Huh. No, no, no. The one that shows Mars time, that's the Chaikin one. It's impossible okay. to read. It's incomprehensible. It's this one. <laughs> oh, it looks smoke. like Chaikin. <laughs> yeah. 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 Total Recall. The original Total Recall. Yeah. That looks yeah. so cool. <laughs> that's... Uh... <laughs> I mean, that's the cockpit, man. That's uh, that's yeah. a watch, man. At this point, that's what I. Th that's one of the th reasons why I love it. Yeah, exactly. I can totally see why Wings likes this one, man. I mean, it's mad. It's, it's mad. How much? Look at this. It's got Mars time. It's got oh, uh, Earth time. It's got you, some other thing. See? Who knows what that is? Maybe well, maybe yeah, Mars closely, calendar. If you look closely. Uh, you can tell the time of uh, when I find out the price and it crushes my dreams. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, it's not cheap. It's going to be in T-minus. Oh, Five. You can see it. he he developed like a special movement. It, it's got like three <laughs> modules. 
It's mad. Is, I mean, the guy is a crazy. genius. He does no, it no, in his is. basement, by the way. Yeah. This, is, this is how Russian yes. people operate. You guys, oh, yeah. guys, these the, the Russian people, they're actually quite clever. I mean, the guy has no tra no watchmaking training whatsoever. Mm. He just learned everything uh, from like George Daniels' book or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, man. It's YouTube. No, 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 no. They don't have YouTube. Over there. It's just uh, <laughs> half fallen building. <laughs> they have WeTube. I'm sorry, it's WeTube. <laughs> Mossy two dollar super chat. David Scott Bolivar in Space Watch. You want <sighs> a Bolivar? No. Oh, it's probably going to be some kind of Apple Watch. I, guys, if Mars Watch could be Apple Watch, it's quite okay. possible. Unless, uh, unless Omega. Well, no, maybe not. The battery, right? The battery and mm -hmm. it's hard to say. Oh, Dylan Smith, six. Omega should use the cannon to blast the watch to Mars to make sure they win. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a six-month trip, it on right? The module, At right? least. They should send it on the. I. You know how expensive it would be to, to, put, uh, just that mm -hmm. small watch on a module and send it and like launch it, from mm -hmm. space, to Mars. Even if it, like crash lands, in some kind of a, vacuum sealed titanium egg. You know, you know what would be a cool narrative though if this actually happened. Yes. I'm not sure if it would. If NASA okay. opened up the Mars mission to all the watch manufacturers. To see who can come oh, gotcha. up with the best piece. Yeah. I see. That would oh, be a crazy uh I think that'd be really interesting, right? It's like a competition. Yeah. Yeah. It all, oh, yeah. I mean it sort of is like unofficially happening, supposedly. Because if you look at all these people there but yeah, that would be if they, they made it official, right? Yeah, I guess I guess the question is would there be anything different operating to Mars or Mars atmosphere versus the moon and you know, mm -hmm. the uh, the trip all the way out, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know what gravity gravity over there is. I don't know what is it. The same, almost the same, is here. I forgot. Hmm. Interesting. Mars yeah. Tim, it's the only watch not owned by United States government that made it up there. It sold for one point six million dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this Chaikin? Chaikin sold one? for one. Oh, and it's based on ETA. There you go. Oh, Chaikin's sorry. watch is based on ETA caliber. Oh, okay. And then he it's adds ETA. his own, like, 175-piece uh, module. Okay. It's crazy. Oh, calculation. They must have some, some good weed in Russia as well. <laughs> yes. Vodka. It's purely yes. fueled by vodka, guys. Hey, the, the heart homemade, loves what the homemade. heart loves. Yes, homemade vodka. Okay, How much, again? Did... Wait, I gotta see. This is a piece unique. All right, it's probably like a million bucks. Sorry, my um, I, I I was wrong. Uh, it's it's only the surface gravity of Mars is only about thirty eight percent that of here. Oh, 38, not thirty nine or forty. <laughs> that's what he that's what it says. So if you weigh a hundred pounds on Earth, you only weigh thirty eight pounds on Mars. Although I wonder how that would would that impact the movement though, right? The balance wheel. I mean, it's really the yeah. balance. Wheel. Oh yeah. Right. At the end of the day, I'd, you would need like a Mars Turbion to Ooh. counteract the thirty-eight percent, like a special Turbion from Mars. There, there you go. <laughs> oh, do you mean like it won't go? But the, but also remember, in on Mars, mm -hmm. they have the tw like twenty-four hours. They have a different mm -hmm. hour, like the yes, day they night. Do. It's totally yes. different. Well, for yeah, them, a cycle, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Although, yeah, I mean, yeah, in terms of, yo, you're talking about like the, the solar time, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because uh, Earth rotates tw once every 24 hours. But Mars, Mars GMT, man. That's right. You need yeah. Yeah. Who so, knows? So, Carson Chrono, uh, are you saying that uh, that on Mars, because of the reduced uh, gravity, uh, a traditional um, uh, escapement won't, won't work? That well, won't that was work. the question, right? In terms of, yeah, yeah the balance wheel. But, could you, it, I'm wondering how much yeah. of that force has to do with gravity versus mm -hmm. the tension. But on, but on the moon, you you also have a reduced gravity, and obviously that was no issue for the Omegas. So, well, that's, that's so the solar the, the solar day on Mars is only yeah, 40 minutes longer than okay. than it is on Earth. So it's almost the same. You would oh, need a so Mars so, yeah equation yeah. of time. Uh, yeah. You know, Mars, in my, 40 minutes. In, in in my how mouth, many hours opinion, are there? 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Well, how many, how many seconds, how many minutes are there in an hour on, on the Mars hour? 
Are we using Earth it's hours not, or are we going to recalibrate? It's a solar day. <laughs> no, you're, gonna, well, what, you're not going to reinvent what time. Do, maybe what they should do on Mars <laughs> is keep it 24 hours, but just add a couple of seconds into each minute. You know what I mean? Just go like, instead of 60 seconds every minute, go 66 seconds. Or so the whatever movement. the math. The yeah, the movement just, it, it works out a little bit different, the movement for a Mars watch. I think yeah. they, they could just swap watches, right? Just put them in the box. Mm-hmm. And oh, we got Perth, and watches for Perth sure. a, luxury. Welcome to the stream. Hey, it's Tim. Be an edit or, or a seventy-seven you know, fifty. Sorry, I was uh, stuffing my face before guys, and I did. Okay. I didn't want to be so rude. <laughs> no, Sorry no, about no. that. No, 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 no. We were we're a little bit overcrowded. We're still crowded. I'm just trying to keep it limited. Some people had to go. If, 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 you, if you want me to go and finish my wings, I'm more than no, happy no, to. No, 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 okay. no. Okay. No. We need so to keep the conversation going. Yeah, six. Yeah, what I also yeah. like about this panel, Tim, just some feedback as a yes. uh, silent audience member most of the time, is that everybody's contributing. That's the yeah. thing I, that irritates me when I ever watch some of the streams. Like, they're just, people are just quiet. They don't say anything. They just talk mm -hmm. about the chats and they bug out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, we got, we got good participation. I'm trying to. No. Uh, it's good. It's good. Fury would be remiss as Arnold fans to acknowledge the complex and sophisticated plots of cinematic masterpieces kindergarten con there you go fury i read it i don't know what the hell i just read but i know that who's, and chrono who, who's, your, who's your daddy and what no, does he is do? it yeah <laughs> oh okay who's Ooh. your daddy and what does he do watch guy inc seven dollars i decided to <laughs> Get rid of my speedies when I saw how. The watch guy's really hating on the speedies tonight. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, watch guy, if you are just truly unhappy with it, I, mean, I, 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 I don't know. Cut him. Oh, him. It might have cut his uh, the sharp like edge. Uh, one of the speedies might have slid him or something. Oh, the new I like one. it. Yeah, like the it. new one. It's so shiny, hey, man. Mm. This is awesome. I gotta do another speedy unboxing for when yeah, watch guy. Let me go get my speedy and my daughter's uh, speedy reduced. Oh, <laughs> I oh. love it. Oh. Double grab it, go grab it. <laughs> Look, uh, there's some people who are really anti speedy, and like, hey, yeah, it's fine. I actually, you know, for the longest time, I thought that my Daytona kind of makes the speedy completely useless in my collection, but I'm coming around to it. I, I don't know, it, it's a kind of phase you could go in and out of a speedy. There's just so much culture, actually, like, there's so much culture that surrounds speedy that it could be one of the best watches to wear if you want to make friends because there's just so many people out there with speedy and it's a great conversation starter you can talk for days yeah who's, who's that oh she said that right it's like inside baseball like folks that yeah. have sports speedies they kind of kind of glance at each other and uh yeah yeah but maybe wait watch guy don't sell your speedies yet then again he can easily get them back. but but don't don't sell them maybe just Put them away for a couple of months, and then maybe you'll co you'll come around to it. In my, in my opinion, that that's a bad reason to to get rid of of the speedies, um, because uh, if you own a Rolex, you will certainly find a person who also wears the same watch, uh, who is a total uh, totally dis uh, despicable uh, human being. Um, so I, I would never sell a, a a watch because someone else is uh, is wearing it. Yeah. Ooh, watch guy bit, ink. Uh, yeah. Masi, Bezos, five minutes. Was it only five minutes? That's how long the trip was? I didn't, no, I I didn't so. follow it. Yeah? No, he's yeah. saying it's longer than the lunch break. Yeah, yeah. like a five minute trip, I guess in orbit, I think is what he's referring to. Ooh. Yeah, it was very wasteful. <clears throat> but uh... Logan Hall, you get a speedy. You get a speedy. You get a speedy. <laughs> speedy for everyone that's why i think uh, this is i'm actually oh. really disappointed oh. that oh, <laughs> right. oh, you are kidding. Go it out, man. Nah, i wasn't messing around man this is the reduced yeah. the... there you go man yeah, are you sure you don't live right speedies. next to what uh, quick draw no. are you sure you don't live right next to uh, uh barbing hard because no. <laughs> because <laughs> barbing hard has got the same those two same speedies no, I think he's got a small. He's got a different speedy reduced. I think his is the racing one. This is the. Ah. Uh, yeah. God. What is Perth Luxury wearing? Perth he, he is just... rocking a Batman. No. Yes. 
no, he's, he's wearing oh, a perfect luxury wait, wait, he's shirt. Got his gear. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got his merch. Merch. Uh, yep. Nice. Finally oh, got a delivery. Man. So. Um, mer merch store with um, a, a split revenue stream, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. And with, with no elect with no electronic fridge, we'll, we'll be going live soon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Parth, you you should just have a, a a fridge, just photoshopped into the background. Like there's nothing stopping you from putting a fridge no, right there's... next to that Daytona in the Rolex AD. Yeah, you could put oh, yeah. it actually right there underneath the Rolex sign on that wall. Yeah. It's kind of blank. Yeah, it's empty space. Well, put ads exactly. on it. Mm. Yep, put ads. Barbie Hart exactly. confirms that you are roommates, guys. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> I think it'd be a packed house. He's got like five, six kids. I don't know. He's got Small a lot of kids. Bro. I've got two. Speedy fans are very dedicated. I They love to watch. They love to watch and... You know what? Oh, it's moving. I, okay. I would love one. <laughs> 7, 7, <50. laughs> oh, Mossy. Thank you. Thank you Excellent. very much, Mossy. Highly appreciate that. Yeah, that's me uh, hopping up every 30 minutes to flip the <laughs> the vinyl. Kind of reminds me of watch, winding watches, man. I'm definitely old school, <laughs> man. Everything is analog. Analog. Yes. Super analog, man. Just gotta it you, takes effort to enjoy dude you know what you should do next now you, ha you have a two you have two cameras you need to get a, add a film camera because <laughs> you got leica you got the that would be like a, a point and shoot then you got your with interchangeable lenses beast uh and you need a film one just for when you're having fun why is my wife sending me messages I think I'm in trouble <laughs> i might be <gasps> Oh, maybe, I'm not in maybe, trouble? Maybe she got wind of our plan, Tim, for for uh, the the night nighttime research. Nighttime. Your your your, your nighttime research. Remember? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I no, don't I don't know. know. I don't oh, know. yes. Nothing <laughs> yes. has happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing good, anything whatever. suspicious tomorrow night. I'm not going out anywhere. Gotcha. There's no reason to. <laughs> to, have, to watch YouTube, guys. I see. Sure you tune out. Tune out. I would really appreciate it. The Watch Guy Inc. What do you guys think of Speedy's Moon Phase Coaxial? Actually, bring it up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like for me, Speedy's, any other complication doesn't quite float my boat. Just that's my just humble opinion on these right outside yeah. the chronographs. Wait. Yeah, that's when I feel like they're getting a little bit off the reservation. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're like they're experimenting a little bit too hard. Um, you mean it's it's a little bit like a Samarina with a moon face? Yeah, or like a Panerai yeah. with an equation of time, right? It's like one of those. Yeah. Although, although if you think about it, like a a, a moon watch with a moon phase. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. Kind, it kind, you're right. It does make a little bit of sense. But I think what's important, the most important here, is the chronograph function that mm -hmm. you're able to time some things if you need to. But, but yeah, but it's like, but yeah, actually, you know, you're absolutely right, Tim. Like having a moon fit on the Omega, but it's just one of those things where you know they have this kind of purity, for lack of a better word, with the. Uh, Designed the original Speedy, and now they're bringing in, like, yeah, it's just something off about it. But uh, I can see why people may like it, though. Right? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why uh, Rolex they don't put like Daytonas with all kinds of complications. They're not experimenting. They're not doing a a, a, a diver Daytona or a chronograph uh, Sea Dweller. Um, yeah. It just kind of dilutes. Yeah. It dilutes the whole uh, brand. I think and, the, the sky dwellers dilute enough. The sky dweller. Oh wait, mm. but they, they, there's no like sky dweller chronogram. But uh, I mean, in terms of complications, already, it's already dilute enough from the sort of the mainstay of the Rolex um, line. No, but it's its own. It's a complete new watch, right? It's completely independent from all. Uh, it's not like. So, for example, right, Omega has a Speedmaster, a Seamaster, Railmaster. Imagine if they made 
Roadmaster. See, that would be a completely different line. And there they could put any new function. So, for example, if they did Moonmaster, and that's a watch, that's a moon phase based, right? Like a, a moon master. master. I mean, it wouldn't be a speed space master. Although I think if I when I think of moon master, I'm just thinking of somebody mooning me, uh, which I wouldn't I wouldn't appreciate. Okay. Uh, Mossy Tim is giving away a special edition Speedy with a seven seven five zero movement for his next giveaway. Actually, for my next one, I'm giving away a shooter. Make sure you guys are subscribed and upvote. Ooh, I'm getting downvoted into oblivion. Fuck. What? Let's yeah. let's put a stop to that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll it is it. what it is. Gerard, yeah. thank you for your downvote. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's wife, I'm oh, playing. Wait, wait, wait. We're supposed to upvote? What the you have to upvote. Yeah, that's right. Oh, guys, crap. flip the downvote to the upvote. Come on. <laughs> Get me to 100 upvotes at least. Yes. Well, didn't this time. mean like uh go ahead sorry yeah no no go ahead no i was just gonna say th didn't this mean like in the roman like uh arenas matches to actually kill them because this meant to oh yeah and... no 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 this means don't kill him and this means end his life no 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 it was the up uh, anyway it, i heard it was the opposite really oh maybe because yeah. in the movies i know in yes in the, in the movies, movies you can't sure. trust the movies no you can't yeah, you have to. Don't so, trust the movies, guys. Point point is upvote, guys. Upvote. Upvote. Yeah. Humble Pine, I have a speedy moon phase. He does actually. Yeah. Hold on. Does he? The, he does. Yep. The Apollo the, Eleven he, he, has oh, the, the one with the moon as well. Like, yes, mm. I've seen that. Yeah. See, it, it's in his side cycle. This is like a collection yeah. that he's a little bit self-aware, uh, self-conscious of. It's yeah, not. I mean, it's yeah. like the pieces that he kind of doesn't want. To t that they, they he doesn't want them to touch his main collection, <sighs> but I mean he has some. It's an interesting there stuff, you know. Look. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, let me take this off. Yeah, yeah. Per per like. Uh, yet, Hello, he's, Barbing Hard. He's, he's ogling. What's up, guys? How so here's here's an interesting thing though. Why maybe it doesn't make sense to have a moon phase on a moon watch? Okay. Why? If you're in space. Or you're yes. orbiting around the moon? Do you really care what the? <laughs> <laughs> you could just look down, right? Just look down at your feet, and you're gonna know what what phase the moon point. is in. Oh, so oh, so on the because it's moon from the perspective watch, of the Earth. Oh, oh, right. they should have the Earth phase on the moon yes. watch instead. Yeah, but you just look out of the window and see how the the Earth looks. Yeah, that's true. But if you're so, stuck in but... the capsule and. It's a good point though because like for the mars watch mm. it's got to have if you're going to put a moon phase on it has to be a moon's phase because there's two moons <laughs> for mars. exactly what the hell <laughs> we oh. the shark on that one, my friend. I, think, I think we're on to something here <laughs> earth phase earth master <laughs> earth so master. Which, which company yeah which company which company is going to be the first one to have two moon phases calculating the moon phase of mars that if Omega, Vacheron. it's gonna be Vacheron. I think they'll come up with. Oh, you think guy. so? I was thinking see. those those new Omegas, the a quartz one, the the quartz one that they that some of the astronauts do now. Was it the X? Is it X thirty three? Yeah. Yeah. It's the X thirty three. That's what they wear on ISS now. Skywalker. Not on Blue Sky Origin. Skywalker. <laughs> new now. Uh, just a quick question, just to confirm, because mm -hmm. I because I forget uh, the li this limited edition, the fiftieth anniversary. Yeah, the Apollo, right? Apollo Eleven. Apollo, uh, Apollo, Apollo Eleven. 50, yeah, yeah, Apollo. Yeah. Yeah, li limited that... to. I think nineteen one thousand nine hundred and sixty nine, because of course it was sixty nine when they went up. It wasn't because it was after sixty nine when they were up there. Okay, whose collection is this? What are we looking at? This is Humble Pine's side collection. And he actually has oh, the side the collection. Phase. Yes, a side collection. It's a side piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. side side piece, side, side hustle. Piece. It's his side, side keyword. Piece. Uh this is like yeah, it's just it's his side. It's his extra pieces that yes. uh that are not part of the main stuff. And they're like they're not like the pieces that you think of 
uh, they're not like classic stuff, right? Like this is off the reservation, like Cars and Chrono said, right? This is <laughs> then like a Seamaster 300, the No Valve one. The Apollo. If he had the spe- nice. if he had the Spectre version of that watch, it would be an absolute banger. Dude, this could be a core collection. Why is this a side mm-hmm. It's pretty mm-hmm. got some nice pieces in here, man. This yeah. is like uh, off the beaten this, this path core cool. collection, right? Yeah, I like. I, it. I told him like, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some gems. These, these are some gems in here. Have you, you know, done? Uh, with... Have you done collection review, Tim? On this one? Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we did like a collection overview. No, no, not a review. I can't legally. I cannot use oh, yeah. that that term. A collection uh, assessment. Uh, the, the collection assessment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the collection assessment. I don't want to get in trouble. I mean, Frank Gerard is e- in evaluation. The... Evaluation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not it's not a digital fridge anymore. It's a digital freezer now. It's a completely. Uh, Frank Gerard says a follow. Just in the pods. Hey, hey, at least he's a. He's a fan. It's a digital guys, freezer it's... now, guys. It's a digital yeah. freezer. Totally. It's a digital refrigerator. It's not. Come on, man! I didn't steal that. Look, come on, come on! Look, yeah, let's get off this. Really cool. This can go sideways. It's yeah. Awesome. Tim, Tim, I've just put a link in in the private chat um, mm-hmm. to show the footprint uh, in the moon phase. It's incredible. The level of detail is really nice. Yeah, that's nuts. Oh, but hold on, uh, see, I missed the, this what, comment. What footprint? He says, he says he leaves an upvote ever since I got the book, so it shows that I'm trying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a cool guy. I had actually I had a, a four hour conversation with him like a debate like off air thing, mm-hmm. such a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Wait, that, that, a, that wasn't about a, about tax, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid we go to Jupiter. <laughs> have like fifty moons there. <laughs> <laughs> but fi- oh finally, a planet, a planet that, a planet that has more moons than the number of Mings that Mr. GMT tried to buy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, sorry about that. Let's see here. But, but it's so it's, yeah. so it's such a gaseous planet you can't actually see them, right? So. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and just real quick, let me show uh, Cars and Chrono, uh, Humble Pines main collection. See, he's a. Uh, Holy oh, shit. He's a uh, more Holy. of a. Holy. Yeah, yeah. more of like a, other ones every a lot of purist kind of stuff. A lot that eleven, of, you know. that, that code eleven fifty nine. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's also so, like not. Oh, actually, David S W has one of these right now as we speak. He's my sponsor. Mm-hmm. Just in case. <laughs> nice plug. Yeah, there is a Batman in there. I nearly missed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, this is the OG Batman. It's not the, the 2.0. <clears throat> <Yeah. clears throat> What'd you say, uh, Cars and Corn? Sorry, you cut out. No, there no, a no. I was just making a comment. It's like there's definitely a, a rhyme or reason and the collecting philosophy as I look at the. The yeah, the, yeah there's, there's he knows, some, yeah, definitely what he likes. That's for sure. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. A lot of hard, like row. Five. We were doing, uh, we were doing things like which row would you take? <laughs> that was a, <laughs> a fun. Ex- <laughs> which column? Sorry, which column? <laughs> no, no, no. I get what you're saying. Yeah, you know, that makes funny, it so though. hard. Yeah, people, yeah, people still, really I, had a lot of fun with that. I'm still uh, sticking to my column. Still doing. <laughs> it. Yeah, which, which one? Which one did you pick? The very last one. Last one. Oh, the one all the way to the right. Oh, come on! You yeah, you I can't uh, delete that fifty-seven twelve. Fifty-seven twelve. No, 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 whole, a lot of yeah, people don't like down. fifty-seven twelve. Uh, I think actually, oh, Carson, you're not a fan know. of fifty-seven twelve, right? Yeah, I got rid of my uh, fifty-seven twelve. Yeah, you what that? Yeah, you enjoy it. Sorry, I like it. Yeah, it's uh, it's in inco- so I, again. I always go back to if uh, have you, you should just really just try handling it. It's it's. I mean, obviously, stainless steel a little bit on light side is a bit incongruous um, mm-hmm. in terms of the overall design, which I think does resonate with certain folks as well. Which yeah, it's uh, funky, but, right? Yeah, but again, it, well, the question always goes back to you know what else could you get with the value of the piece? And right. So to me, there was other pieces that really resonated with me. Yeah, yeah. It's real. It's really hot right now. Actually, like uh, when I think of fifty-seven twelve and fifty-seven eleven, 
uh i always think like man 57 12 is just such a better watch compared to 57 11. that i agree with yep i agree right. with that yeah i hands down over the 57 11. i don't get the the interest around the 57 11. that completely boggles tim, my mind tim can you please uh, uh pull up that uh, that footprint pulling up pulling yes, up and then um, I, I posted the link in the private chat yep 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 i had it i have it i think i have it in the in the paste button maybe i'll oh, paste okay. it oh that's shouldn't show that uh sorry <laughs> don't post the this uh, porn hop uh, oh, yeah. link yeah link. we don't want that <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to see that oh that's a man that's really close i'll be right back just a second guys yeah yeah okay. but and if you go from like all the way at 11 o'clock mm -hmm. down to seven o'clock you can actually make out the footprint like the boot print actually mm -hmm. that they were able to put in there mm -hmm. It's a nice little thing. From Easter 11 o'clock to, to 7 o'clock. Totally right yeah, super detailed. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little like Easter egg. Like you really have mm -hmm. to look. Um, like the silver Snoopy uh, also has the boot print. Uh, same uh, with the 50th anniversary. No, of I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> I don't know if we've ever covered this on, given we're on the speedy topic today on the 321. You know, there is a whole discourse on... Uh, how we actually never made it to the moon. You guys oh, are dear God. Yes. Yeah. Where's it? Yes. Where's Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, BBW? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yes. no, By the way, yeah. I'm not a big conspiracy. I mean, you can go down yeah. rabbit hole. But, right. I mean, there's some really interesting arguments. I mean, I'm not talking yeah. about the flag stuff and all that right. other crap, but right. uh, yeah, even with like uh, Kubrick, right? Him right. doing the whole 2001 coincide yes. with the moon landing. It's just, yeah. it's just funny what people kind of ruminate on, you know? yeah well um, well I'm, speaking I'm of a... doc bbw i actually had plans this this would please ari no end and it's a shame he's not here i was going to create like a, a good um version of the doc bbw account one that like promotes vaccines and everything else but i assume everybody here believes we land on the moon or are there any conspiracy theorists here oh there's plenty I, of conspiracy theorists in the chat I, no, in I, terms of that, on the moon. I read an article yeah. that, that the chances that uh, this mission uh, would really succeed with uh, the technology back then was really slim. So they are they they were taking a, a big gamble uh, mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. You, you know, you know, for, for for many, they'll they'll see they'll say that hey, you're going into this very small plane. It, it is incredibly unsafe, yet it, it, it is. is so incredibly safe. It, it's a staple for for a training aircraft, right? So I mean, again, like I like to think, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to believe that we did. So uh, don't take the speedy away from me, please. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, 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 def, def, I definitely believe, believe in it. I mean, yeah, look, look at, at something else from the time, the, the Blackbird spy plane that traveled on yeah. the edge of space. I mean, that was in the same sort of category. Basically, yes. engineeringly impossible for the time. But look, it exists. Guys, we most definitely did land on the moon. Like, what, what, what I can't even believe people are still thinking i mean there's there was seven like there was like seventy thousand people working on the project it's not like if you throw money enough money unlimited money at mm -hmm. any project that you want anything is possible just look at the the richard meals you know there's just mm -hmm. evidence that you can make wise uh like all right so i got a question for so, you tim have you yeah. seen that footage with from the f-18 hornet you know with the government disclosing on the ufos do you no. think that was Human Command. name, or do you think that is alien? Oh, it's With Commander Fraber. Yeah. Sorry. With Commander Fraber. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That little tic tac and thing yeah. going up and down. How many tens, thousands of feet in a second? Was it human yeah. made or? Definitely human made or fake footage. Um, we'll see. Good call. So, so yeah. if if I had it like my way, I actually think. If we literally faked the space race <laughs> to bankrupt the Russians, I actually think that's actually like the coolest scenario. And then, and then yeah. we've been there since, and so that's why the equipment was on the moon and all that kind of stuff. But if I had it, my my pick, how cool would that be that we like 
if we faked it, was like, yeah, mother effers. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't think we can keep secrets that well either. That's the no, yeah. There's no there's chance. No way to keep a secret like that. No chance. That would have been leaked a hundred times. Yeah. If okay, it was, now, it, go ahead. No, I'm just saying, if it was if it was faked, Trump would have leaked, re revealed it. Like, if there was anything oh, juicy, geez. guys, come on. Oh, if there was anything wiki. juicy, wiki Trump leaks, would have already yeah. revealed it. This is just goes to show, like, how boring, uh, you know, the behind the scenes of our government is. Mm. It's like, I wish it was so cool. I wish there were, there were aliens in the Area 51. Mm. But if there was, like, this kind of cool stuff, come on, Trump would have leaked it. Don't you have faith in the guy? Just a uh, quick, quick question, cars. You'll know this yeah. because you've had a 50, 5711, etc. Um, just in general with Nautilus, no, do we know what steel, what what steel to protect use? Do they use three sixteen L or nine hundred four L? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what steel they're using. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. All good. That was just yeah. something that I've. All, all, Kind of always wondered. No, it felt, it felt <laughs> the one. The one thing I hate about Pateks, the their clasps, the clasps are shiders, man. Even the uh, fifty nine eighty, it's just so like I'm always afraid I'm going to break the clasp because it's oh, so yeah. thin and it's like it doesn't give. It's just I don't know why they chinsed out on that one. I think mm. if I had to guess, you know what I would say. I think. They're going to because they know that they can re-release all of these watches in uh, 10 years with upgraded clasps. And that's why they're holding off. They know that they don't have to release the good clasps yet. Like Vacheron right now, right? Vacheron just, just blew it out of the water. Three straps, micro extensions built in, just genius design. And Paddock, they're just sitting back like, that's great, but we don't have to do that yet. And when we do it, it's going to be insane. So that that's my thinking. I I, I, I think they're, they'll save that ace up their sleeve until they show it and it's a, it was all a trap. Until they guy. need it, you mean? Yeah. And their, their rubber bead does make straps for the 57, 12, uh, hmm. and so forth. So I can see that happening. Yeah, I agree. I right? see that happening. They're they're going to be forced to because Vacheron's going to start to supersede them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to supersede them because you look at the green, right? All the paddock had to do is just change the color, and th that watch goes thirty thousand dollar watch goes for like three hundred thousand on the second there over retail. It's it's absolutely insane, and they were like, we didn't even have to do. The, the class we didn't have to upgrade it. just imagine what will happen when we will upgrade the class well i i think i think in terms of like just the basic uh like the sales is what i'm trying to talk uh, say like those piece unique uh, the the green dials or any of those hot uh, high pieces sure i mean they're going to be really expensive but <clears throat> again like do you really want that level do you want to pay half a million dollars for something that you know is fifty thousand dollars at the end of the day right style collector five bucks got the call today brother just thank you i was actually i have to call you wait uh style collector can you call me later today uh the watch guy ink so patek steel is much softer than rolex actually i think he here he put it that the paddock uses 316 versus rolex 904. Cheers for that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, four was didn't know that. i thought 904 was easier to scratch but it was easier to pull yeah i thought uh, i i and again when you're comparing mm. steels it is there is a difference just because they might both be the same rated steel depending on how a company heat treats its steel there can be differences even though you know so not all 904 steel ex acts like exactly the same um same thing with like knives like different knife companies they can have the same type of steel but the way that they heat treat it can can still change its properties a little bit my experience with uh my rolex 904 steel is and, and i think 904 is supposed to be more anti-corrosive than a marine yeah marine grade steel Exactly, but I think it's I think it scratches pretty easily. So 
I don't know if there's any benefit to it being... That is my experience as well, but if, if you look on, on vintage Rolexes, um, some some of those uh, grooves where the seals are, are so heavily corroded, and I think um, Rolex uh, took action um, to prevent that in, uh, for the future. That is my theory. That is my amateur. well. They, they used to use they used to use three sixteen though. In some of the vintage yes. pieces, they're still three sixteen. Yes, I can't remember yeah. the year that they switched to nine hundred four, but uh, nine hundred four was. I mean, Rolex was a, a pioneer in using the nine hundred four steel. Yep. Yeah, but um, my amateur theory is that uh, they switched to nine hundred four uh, just because of those corrosion problems on on vintage Rolex. On the vintage. Oh. Yes. There, there, there's the person I was looking for, Kurt, because he's a metallurgist, I believe. Yeah, right. Engineer. Oh, Kurt, 904L stainless is resistant to focused corrosion. Yeah, because I like sometimes I look at a, a, a Rolex and it's got like back unscrewed and it actually has almost like as if bugs ate through the steel. Yeah. Looks crazy. Cars and Chrono, thank you so much for the super chat. 15 bucks. Enjoying the company and entertaining commentary great sharing yeah. the three to one unboxing dude man the, uh, the chats are hilarious some, some of these spikers are kind of funny actually <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when they're not just spook like uh spitting on other folks but just like yeah, yeah these funny comments are actually funny man. <laughs> hmm. we have the best chats the best chance keeping it spicy keeping it spicy. Yeah. i've just oh, uh, post, posted a picture of rolex corrosion in the private oh very nice Let's see here. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. Damn. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, shit. See that? It's in the vintage. That's where the casket is. Yeah, and um, and now that, uh, that people are discovering vintage uh, Rolex more and more, um, mm -hmm. This come uh, this shows up more more and more often. Mm. Yeah. Wow! And like Rolex knows that they're like the preservation and making their pieces to be able to last as as many years as possible is like super important because secondary market think to roll. I think Rolex was the first one of the first brands to be really focused on the kind of the resale value of their watch you know as a vintage piece that's why there's people freaking collecting just the same watch they, they, they try to get as many submariners uh as possible from crazy stuff and dc in lv two dollar super chat thank you so much what would buzz speedy be worth if it surfaced oh, oh I, my i think that would be that would sell for more than paul newman's i'd agree yeah, yeah so deserved. Now that mm -hmm. now that Paul Newman's so right, I think it would have to be which one is the first one. All right, so here's I'm gonna throw a little wrench into this. You know, yeah. there is. It's, I don't think this is conspiracy, by the way. That mm -hmm. okay. Buzz's speedy never made it to the moon because it, it uh, actually he stayed in. Yeah, in the capsule. Yeah, yep. You were saying. Yep. yep. Yeah. So I think that would actually raise a lot of questions if that act. Like I mean, we're just talking shits and giggles, right? I, right. There is, um, uh, yeah, a lot of people who believe it never actually hit the moon, though. But what happened okay. to the watch? So, so Carson Chrono says it, it just made it to the movie studio. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley Kubrick <laughs> yeah. it didn't even go into space. Can you angle it on your wrist a little bit? <laughs> it was a prop. It was just. <laughs> I think, yeah. The glare, the glare off the Hesselite. But where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Definitely studio lights, bro. Because I have no idea. Of the spacecraft. Yeah. Can somebody fill me in on the story? What happened to uh, it? Yeah, there, something went wrong with it. It stayed in the capsule. It actually never made it down. So Buzz and, uh, yeah, Neil. Oh! With the speedy. It actually stayed up in the capsule. You mean it's on the moon right now as we speak? No, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Which capsule? Where's the capsule? No, the capsule that came back to Earth, right? They, they didn't. Okay. They didn't wear it on the outside of their flight suit. Yeah, okay. and actually went on to the moon with. So, them. so he left the, the, the he left the watch in the capsule. 
That's correct, yeah. And where is why the that? capsule right now? Is there any explanation why they did that? It broke. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the explanation. Left it there. It's it's the did somebody just, just pinch it from the capsule when, when they put it, whatever, in the storage or whatever? No, 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 no. All I'm saying right now is that it... <laughs> Right, so the whole thing about uh, you know, what well, you're saying, so so you know more than you're telling us. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So you're no. saying, okay, let's start from the beginning. Where okay. is it? <laughs> so the the story right now is that his reference, right? So you know Omega, they have two references. The the speed is the one hundred five double zero zero three and zero one two. Yes. He didn't wear the Ed White. He actually wore a, a subsequent reference called the zero one two. Okay. And he took it, he actually launched with it, but mm -hmm. ultimately when he landed in 69 on Apollo 11, it actually yeah. didn't go, didn't, he didn't take it off the capsule with him onto the moon. Right. That's, oh, okay. There's a lot of commentary around that, whereas all of us believe that ultimately he actually did wear it onto the moon. But okay. folks do believe he actually didn't take it down. Okay. Now, when he came back to Earth, where is the watch right now? I would assume it's so, the Smithsonian. That's what we're doing. Yeah. No, so that's, that's, uh, that's it the is. conspiracy. It was it is. sent to the Smithsonian yeah. and, and yes. supposedly got lost. Yeah. Armstrong. That was Buzz's, wasn't it? Smithsonian. No, no. Yeah, Buzz's is missing. That's the one that's missing. Missing. But, missing. Uh, yeah. Which, somebody has somebody, it in their somebody basically uh, might uh, uh, The movie producers had to recover their props. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 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 It's the so, evidence. But, it's the evidence that, that there was no moon landing or whatever, right? Yes. That's why they had to keep it. Producer but, Michael, uh, but but how how did the, did that uh, other uh, Speedmaster break? Um, was it uh, due to the impact of? of oh, who uh, knows? Landing? I mean, that's well. There was no official narrative on that because everybody okay. believes it actually hit the moon. Yeah. Mm. And nobody's looking for it right now. And it's no twenty photo. million dollars. Yeah. And, and that's the other there. issue. There's no photo of him on the moon with that speedy. Mm. And official. Well, he'll photo. just say he wore it underneath. Yeah. Well, there is no, no. I think there's. I, my understanding is that Neil Armstrong was actually holding, the, held a camera, and got Buzz Aldrin, and you can see a strap on Buzz Aldrin's. It's yeah, a, it's a. The photos that are mistakenly people think it's Neil Armstrong, but it was actually Buzz Aldrin. That there is like a black strap that supposedly it's there, but. Okay, but Neil Armstrong really, was the first on the moon, though, right? He was the guy who took it down. He's the first that actually went on the moon. So, and you know, again, this is all yes. conspiracy mumbo jumbo. I'm just trying to add a little bit of uh, yeah. <laughs> so, the right? so, so we all we all know what what probably happened with Buzz Aldrin's watch, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't get lost in the mail. <laughs> 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 but would you, you send know, it? Would you send it, Tim? Would you send it, Tim? Tim, would you right send now. your Explorer two when you reach the the top of Mount Everest and you're the Smithsonian? You're supposed to be sending it in. Would you would you send it or would it just get lost? In so, Berbinghard, you you think he pinched it just like Archie does with his links? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if it was him that didn't send it or if someone else pinched it. <laughs> the real story is that Snoopy went to the moon. You can see it on the Snoopy Speedy. It's actually a really well known fact. The Undertaker. It supposedly got lost in the transit to the museum. Yeah. Packages never get lost. I don't know what he's talking about. You got pinched. In the Birmingham, speedy didn't uh... break. The instrument on the capsule did. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm looking at the picture that you're talking about, Birmingham. So yeah, it is on a strap. The picture of the, the, the Buzz Aldrin. Yes. Photo. Yeah, that's supposedly what. Yeah. A really good picture. Look, and this this is a really good point. There's so much misinformation, right? There's so much. Uh, not, mm -hmm. not only is there so much misinformation about the whole moon landing, right? There's also a lot of people just. Uh, writing uh writing fiction about I mean, that's the beauty of the speedmaster right there's so much fan fiction about the one that there's really yeah. you, you can get like it, it's a rabbit hole Without but i would speed highly speedmaster. recommend that moon watch book that i uh, showed earlier on the other stream man that's got oh yeah i mean it's it's the bible when it comes to the speedy it's really cool and the way they lay out all the references the lineage the stories all the special editions yeah that's I a Mondani book, isn't 
it, no, I don't think so. No. Is it? No, no, no it's not. It's not Mundane. It's, uh, we'll see you guys, eh? It's this one right here. Moonwatch so only. only. Oh, okay. Whoa. Uh, does it? Uh, yeah. Hey, Cars. Does it? Does it give the uh, the serial number? Yeah. Oh yeah. So let for, me show you. for 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 uh, Buzz Aldrin's Speedy. Well, let me, I don't know about let me check. I don't know about serial. I it definitely gives references. I, know, I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if Omega's like not publishing it or if it's you know. How crazy would that be? Oh, you think Omega should know the the serial, right? Oh yeah, well, I'm sure they do, but I don't I think, think they'll they publish it in a book, though, right? You think if that watch yeah. ever comes forward, with well, if a watch with that serial number ever comes forward, Omega is gonna be like, that's the one. Oh, maybe they're they're keeping it secret. So when one of those watches goes to uh, when Buzz Aldrin's watch goes to a serving se service center, mm -hmm. they'll pinch it from from, from the side. Uh, well. Oh, they would they would probably try to like stake stake claim on it, which is yeah, I would which I would think they would they would be really sneaky about it. They would be like, "Sir, uh we can't really service this watch, but we'll buy it from you for blah blah blah." blah. We lost oh, it. We lost it in the service center. <laughs> <laughs> well, there ends up Sorry. there ends up being there ends up being a big like, you know, legal issue when, you know, for things expensive pieces like that actually just last month there's um so christie's auctions right mm -hmm. christie's auctions sold a a uh like a stone tablet of was it the epic of gilgamesh like a portion of it and hobby lobby ended up buying it so christie's had this like authentication paperwork sold it and then basically the the US government said hey that's this was like an ill-gotten item this paperwork was all forged and they ended up taking it back and sending it i think it's like to Iraq it's like an antiquities act violation because you can't like find you know like a uh, an a something from a dig site and steal it and sell it right so um and then i think now hobby lobby is actually suing Christie's auction and say, like, hey, you, you sold us a, some stolen goods. So this is the only photo they're showing from Apollo 11 mission, this one right here. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, interesting about that photo, they don't show anything else on Armstrong on the moon right now. And the interesting about that photo is Armstrong had his on the strap with Collins on the steel bracelet on that photo. Okay. So, I mean, that's the only thing they've got in terms of the, mm. as a reference on the book. Just quickly on the topic of Omega books, cars. Have you read or do you have the Sea Master to Sea Master book? Sorry, sorry. Do you have the Sea Master to Sea Master book? Or no, I'm not a Sea Master fan, so no, I do not. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, otherwise I would definitely have it. Yeah. Right, you're right. Okay. Maybe the watch just were government property issued before launch. Buzz doesn't have the right to it. Probably. Yeah, no, this Yeah, and these are ones that were that passed their you know, all the testing to make sure it's okay. But there yeah. have been astronauts that have brought their personal ones. I mean that's kind of one of the stories behind the Belova watch is the belt. Takes mm. it and oh my, my Omega Master too, right? Didn't work and then now I use my my, my trusty Belova and that Bulova. Wait, who thing. who brought the the GMT Master Two Pepsi? Hmm. Someone did. What? Did someone um, bring one of those on the moon? I don't think it was. What I heard. Was it, the, or was it to the space station? Okay, space. But station. Many, many of the astronauts had uh, GMT Masters, so. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah I read that somewhere as well. <laughs> 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 like, I, I'm learning about this the speedy stuff myself. Uh, a, this is a lot a, I think we sorted out a lot of stuff, right? I mean, a lot of Casios a... have 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 been up into space. Fortis yeah. has a lot that have. Has Apple Watch been to space yet? Maybe. Uh, Dylan Smith, if Mars Watch ends up being Ming, ooh, Mr. G had enough for NASA. <laughs> we'll turn up the. By the way, uh, if uh, I have a, I have a million dollar idea for Apple, okay. if anyone working for Apple wants to hear it, I'll, I'll tell you this. You guys want to hear it? 
a million dollar idea for Apple One. I don't work for Apple, but I like listening to your harebrained ideas. Go for it. Okay, so check it out, guys. <laughs> it's a it's a million <laughs> dollar idea. <laughs> what Apple should start doing, they should start selling packs sure. of uh, uh, like dials for their watches, you know, like limited edition dials. You go on Apple Store, you buy a pack of five. You don't know which ones you're going to get. They're limited. They're by artists. They're numbered. And you buy. And they, they should have some. And it's they come in limited quantities. There's only like five of some specific one. There's ten of the other one. And then mm -hmm. people can trade their dials. If you come to someone, you can like click a button and trade the dials with someone. And you should, you should try to collect them all. But anyways, the point is, there'll be dials for a million dollars. And it's just a digital. It's it's a Bitcoin. It's gonna go Bitcoin. Po po Pokemon it's a million collecting dollar for your Apple Watch. Yes. What? Pokemon collecting Apple for your Watch. Apple Watch. Yeah, yeah. People will collect. People collect. Like you look at Pokemon cards. People pay forty thousand dollars for yeah. uh for a Pokemon card. Yeah, yeah, for Charizard can, or something like that. People will pay a million dollars for a limited yeah. edition. No, you can call it Tim Tamagotchi. <laughs> No, Timagachi. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? App. Is it stupid? Am I stupid? Carson no, Carlin, what do you think? Is it a million dollar it's, idea? It's a, it's, it's, it's derivative. It's two different I mean. points here. Or not derivative. What am I trying to say? It's, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, you can take it and pretty much spin it into whatever flavor. It's digital, uh, it's digital, it's digital Bitcoin, product. Digital yeah. coin. They, they sure. can make so much money. They can sell those packs. People will try okay. to buy the packs. Right. A dollar. So random. Maybe. You're saying it's randomized. It's random, yeah. And they get like, like ma five like magic, dials. The gathering yeah. cards. Yeah. And then every year they should release a new pack or every three months. <laughs> what do you think? They can hire the I best mean, artists yes. in the world. Don't, don't hire Alec Monopoly. But it's just. We've okay, already so seen what he does to watch. Just for space <laughs> or NASA. Okay. Cars? What do you think? <laughs> Can we change the topic? I had another question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> million dollar ideas is not a great topic. Very cool. Thank you. So, right, so what do you guys so, think is cool? Though? Like, uh, you, you brought up an interesting topic earlier around, uh, you know, like, if there was a watch that, like, even Armstrong's and Buzz's came up for auction, right? Yeah. So, what do you think is cool? Like, uh, watching on a space or, like, the first. Uh, watch that like as part of like f1 or the detained tono like what the whole paul newman is like just going around the panel like what do you feel is more epic and more legendary mm -hmm. i think definitely space i think if buzz's watch goes on sale and then with having already a price known for the daytona they would try to beat it and they would and i think it would actually go for double if i had to guess it would go double double than a newman yeah it would have to yeah it's just because the daytona story it's just it's not it's just marketing it's pure, purely marketing there is no actual kind of there's nothing there's nothing there that's really solid and knowing what the existing price but so but if you flip it right uh and the Buzz's watch was to be sold first. I think it would have went, went for maybe seven million. It's all about marketing. Who has who has the watch first? Because then the the, the brand that goes second, they can build up upon the the first auction and and give reasons of why this watch is more important. And they think Speedy is such a it's such a more important watch. It would do double, at least, at least. Mm. Wings, what do you think? Uh, well, he, okay, here's my only thing, right? Let's say this conjecture of perhaps we did or did not land on the moon, right? Let's yeah. just say if we take that equation out and we say that, yes, we... Uh, one hundred percent did right. It was a hundred percent. Qualifying it was pretty hilarious. No, I will no, bet no, no. my hold life on, that we did. Hold on, but but also I can now understand. Okay, look, if you take a look at the history of the of the Daytona, right? Paul Newman and uh, and the Racing Heritage and Rolex as a brand, right? There's nothing that's left to speculation. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you're following me, following me, right? So if it was not for this one little thing, I can say sure, perhaps. But again, I mean, the Paul Newman Daytona set a benchmark, right? Did, so yeah. it's kind of hard to... Challenge for him during filming. What? It, it, it's kind of hard to follow up with something <laughs> that groundbreaking if it wasn't verified thoroughly, right? That's just my okay. kind of... I'm playing devil's advocate here. And All I right. Love Stevie, so. All right. Who wants to go next? I can I can do it. Yeah, I just yeah, got quick. one thing to say. The most yeah. tragic part in all of Rolex marketing is the fact that they call it the Cosmograph Daytona. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's a fail. You know what I mean, Cosmograph means, right. by the way? It's okay, like Go ahead. Yeah, yeah the yeah. moon and calendar. That's what it right. means, literally. Yeah. And so the they were calendar. really they were they were shooting for the stars, but yeah. they kind of fell flat. So yeah. the moon calendar. That's literally what Cosmograph means. Where it comes from. Damn. Jonathan, what do you think? Knowing things that we know now. Well, uh, um, to me, no doubt, uh, the, uh, the, the moon uh, uh, speedmaster. Um, and um, the questions from the conspiracy theorists um, is not able to uh, to put any flaw. If you if you see uh, prices for sp uh, for um, I, I think that previously there there was an auction for a spacesuit uh, yes. somewhere, and that uh, that went crazy price, uh, prices. So mm -hmm. I have no doubt uh, that, um, that, uh, that 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 um, Moon um, Speedmaster would would get crazy right. money. You know, I'll chime in. Sorry, Perth. I'm sure Perth and Burb have it. You know why I know the speed will completely blow the fuck out of it? Because you have these multi-billionaires going to space, and they're going to snag that piece. Oh, yeah. Brag and rights. Yeah. That alone, and they'll it, itch up the the price point, man. And then you have a whole bunch of clowns like you know, private collectors that maybe want who are not necessarily multi-hundred billionaires that are going to also want a piece like that because when you get, you're into astronomy you're into space race i mean people get super deep in this, this stuff you, and, yeah and if you, you hold on are, yeah. are we ready to add another conspiracy theory in since it's a conspiracy yeah. theory, <laughs> theory, <laughs> conspiracy theory stream no no <laughs> so when these so so let's say like this famous speedmaster comes to auction right one of these big yep. auctions yes how many of the people bidding it up are actually the brand themselves yeah. having their own names that are running up the bidding because yeah. how good of a marketing <laughs> tactic is that for omega to sell yeah, yeah. speedmasters right. if you know what i mean they're bidding against each other saying well, the, well yeah like is what's better press than yeah well if selling jeff speedmaster bezos for 30 million is dollars in like, the audience marketing. right if mm -hmm. just if jeff bezos is in the audience He's, right somebody would be yeah. running it up to a billion dollars <laughs> no, no that's would just fine. be like that would be enough for them and sure, have... and sure they'll let and sure they'll let they'll let they'll let uh you know jeff win but not all of the people that win these auctions have to be public right Dude, like, so yeah, right. it can just be like oh is it to an unnamed person it's like well okay so they just need to run it up and then let let someone you know take take the top bid but um that's these great. auctions that's great are notorious for like for, for, for the sentiment stuff. make him make them pay make yep. them pay but if you know see, there's someone who really wants it then you will make, even like at some point be like you know even i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna buy it but they'll make them you know they'll run it up so hot so so i think the not only like a watch held by a famous person but i think maybe a watch that is used in a critical moment so i would think the up was that the apollo 13 the actual Omega used to time the Apollo 13 rocket burn. Ooh. Like that one would yes. fetch. Mm. I okay, think more you know than, than any other watch. Piece, man. Uh, <laughs> that'd be yeah, that's the one. Piece, but I think the 11th still, the first moon on the wall, yes. the first rock on the moon, would still surpass the 13. But I, you yeah. know what? That 13 piece would be bonkers as well. No. But you, you know what? Even, even if these watches were available, the fact that they're so significant to history. They would probably get scooped yeah. up by the government, put in the Smithsonian. Yeah, these are these are probably because they're they're probably going to be government issued items, right? So the government issues it, like okay, then they mm. use it, and then and then they return but, it. And I even think some of I even think some of Rolex sponsorships are that way, right? Like, 
pe people would get a watch they could use it for like let's say an expedition and then they give it back to rolex when they're done and then rolex gives them one to like hey here you go here's one for you we want to test the watch and and you know what i mean we need to run some on. results on it now we're, we're, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll let you have the, the one that you took to the Mount Everest. Now we'll, we'll, we need to get it back yeah, to hey, study it, this, study it how this, it this, performs. This, this 316 steel is, is pitting out bad. Let's <laughs> let's come up with something yeah. else. And they come up with 904. As, as far as I uh, I know it, all, all those watches are, are officially classified being government property. So um, um, even if that uh, Apollo 13 watch would be on sale, if if I would be in charge with Omega, I would uh, I would do everything to to get this because this will really be a cool piece to uh, to to have my um, um, my communication material for decades. So mm. look, this is the the uh, the watch that saved the mission the mission, and um, here it is. And our present watches are as reliable as as uh, it was back then, something like that. Yeah, but the, the government doesn't need the money. Like they don't, they're not starved for the revenue. So it makes yeah, but but don't you think more sense uh, that they would put it in a Smithsonian or something? You know what I mean? Use it for yeah, but yeah, but um, let's let's just uh, speculate if if uh, that Apollo thirteen watch would come up on an auction, would would you think uh, that the U.S. government would uh, uh, put a hold on it and and say, well, this is our property, so we want it back? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. Yeah. Really? We just hire Nick Cage to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> or Tom Cruise. Get yeah. Tom Cruise in there as well, man. Yeah. Shit, I thought really? we were going to say Captain Or maybe through private I, or, I mean, for, as, far, as far as we can probably tell, if it doesn't exist right now, it's probably going through some private auction, like between the Illuminati. For I, Jeff oh, Bezos might God. have it as we speak. <laughs> you will never have Cars and Chrono back again on your panel. I mean, it's it's possible. Be careful, Tim. Tomorrow, the Tim Wright channel is going to be shut down. You can't be speaking these truths. What are you doing, Tim? <laughs> oh, now that uh, the watch guy I've got, I have to do my fight uh, news. There you go, man. For the... Very nice. Bam. Looks so good. How, how's that? How's that bracelet? Yeah, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but you know what? I, yeah, I like it, man. It's uh, class. It's light. It's uh, it's pretty. I know you uh, I know you want to get rid of it, but you know what? I, it's okay by me, man. I'm you all right. You could always put it on a NATO strap. Wow. No, that's the kind of... You have to keep this watch or OG, original. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was just pulling his leg. <laughs> <laughs> man. This is, the kind of, this is the kind of thing you keep it as a full package. You know, there's no, this watch doesn't need any help. Like, uh, like the, the 1861, 3861, they might need a little bit of help to spice it up with the strap. This is the, no help needed. Excuse me, sir, sir. We don't need your tables your this way. Yeah. Your tables this way. <laughs> we don't need your assistance. You know what's really cool about that also sap, uh, sapphire case back is, uh, <clears throat> and this is the thing with like even paddocks and even uh, many chronos is you don't have the full glass because there's always a rotor that covers part of the movement. But here you can actually see all the gears work in unison. Yeah. From audio. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool versus the balance wheel because many folks focus on the escape and the balance wheel. But here you see all the gears work in unison. So this is actually a pretty cool piece to also teach folks how, like how watches work as well. Oh, yeah. Like Man, conversation, conversation starter. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Perfect. Yeah. You show this to someone. This is the original Omega 321. Whew. And decoration. They also went, you know, they did some. Uh, is this gold plated or is it? Br it's gold plated, right? Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. brass. I think so, yeah. No, it's not brass. Nope, it's gold. So just yeah, seeing the like, column, uh, column wheel, wheel in action is, is worth the money. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that column wheel. Yeah. I mean, it's with that little turret. And you see the uh, chronograph engage. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Just beautiful. My, my, my gripe was why didn't they blue the screws? But maybe then it would be too many different colors. Mm. How is this? Now, in the picture, this... I don't know what this wheel is. Hard to say. 
Uh, but is it uh, gold? Like, th is it different shade? What you... Can you tell on the real one? Because here it it's like everything is rose gold, but this one seems to be in yellow gold. You know that there has a yellow it's... gold on a cog, though. No. I'm just wondering why why did they distinct? They probably did it for a reason, but. I just wonder how where yeah, possibly huh? where whereas in resilience of a piece yeah it's hard to tell no probably need need to shoot it with the macro mm -hmm. mm. looks a little bit different no I wonder what that piece is responsible for what that part is responsible for that they highlighted it in such a way Cool. Oh, uh, I think I think that uh, I don't think that's truly like a gold portion right there, Tim. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of like an anodized um, screw down to hold the uh, the the one gear. Right here, I'm trying here, to I'm, you, I'm trying to look on the look, yeah. You see, it's this not is what that's I'm not gold. About. Yeah, it's a little not, bit different shade. I'm just saying yeah. this is like yellow gold. It's, and it's the blue is rose gold. I'm just, I, I'm just asking a question. Maybe somebody has. That's the transmission wheel. Okay, so that looks like when the chronograph is engaged, it looks like this wheel would connect. Here, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, and yep. that would transfer power to the chronograph. Yeah, yeah. And just speaking on the chronograph, so here's the thing as well, right? Between, so I'm gonna engage the. Uh, Oh, there's like no give on the second as well. It's just so tight. Oh. Well, at least get some focus. Like, hold up. Like you'll see the second. There's no mm -hmm. little jump to it. it just yeah, there's no jitter. oh, yeah, that starts nice. Yeah. Oh, I can actually hear it ticking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty sweet. sweet. How about how about the seconds hands on the oh, oh sorry sorry on the minute hands because Lolex he had some trouble with the with the alignment when the chronograph ran for one minute the yeah I haven't, I haven't tested one that one minute didn't jump correctly yeah haven't tested I'll, I'll do that for the next video <laughs> oh, okay okay Put that out yet. <laughs> Does anyone no. does anyone know if Bezos wore the new the three eight six one or the one eight six one? Thirty eight sixty one. Thirty eight sixty one. Okay. I, th I thought it was the three two one. I was wrong. I just found that. My bad. Mm. Interesting. My says that's oh. the anti gravity. Collage. <laughs> Feeling. Thank you. Uh... Tim, you, you sure Mossy's not um, related to our favorite doctor? <laughs> After this episode, Tim's channel is going to be demonetized, sold, and renamed Elite Conspiracy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, instead of, yeah, instead of starting quality. a second channel, I, I think instead of starting a second channel and talking politics, Tim, I think you should have a I channel should, right? for conspiracies. The do JFK the next. Do JFK. JFK. Okay, what was he wearing? What watch was he wearing? Apparently oh, that's a good like question. A... Oh, no, I think he was wearing Cocktail, I think. That was JFK's watch. Yeah. I wonder if he had it on at that time. But, guys, I have to wrap it up. Uh, been with two hours and 30 minutes in one minute. Um, I want to. One second. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Cars and Chrono, thank you so much for coming on the show, yes. unboxing the Congrats. beautiful 3-2-1. Thanks, thanks, man. Thank you so much, man. Uh, yeah, of to... course. Yeah, thanks, guys. I hope we weren't too hard on you, too critical. Some people no. like <laughs> You know I don't give a fuck, right? You know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're jealous. We're jealous. You know what? You know how it is. Uh, Wings and Watches, thank you for stopping by. Perth, thank you for Thanks. manning the fort when I wasn't there. Jonathan, quick draw, Bourbon Heart, 
Thank you, guys. You speedies, Jesus. I really appreciate it. John Conrad, Tim, is the Twitch experiment over? No, it's not. I'm, uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to be... I'm going to Twitch. I'm going to try tomorrow. I'm going to try Twitch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the subby today. Don't done. I was just a little bit busy. Sorry, I was so yes. busy. I couldn't. I couldn't twitch. Oh, look at the quick draw, double fisting. Oh, wow! Beautiful. 